Hello everyone and it's time to explain and this time I have a whole different crew here with me uh, and I let's get straight to the presentations uh, Ricardo game artist in the team can you introduce yourself to the community sure uh, so hello guys I'm Ricardo uh, I come from Portugal and yeah I do game art but actually like I also do a lot of like art producing nowadays so I deal it's like managing outsourcers stuff like that most of the game artists in team do that at this point, you know. Yeah, that's so. not what, so so as fun <laughs> as it sounds. <laughs> yeah, well, <laughs> related to art. Yeah, yeah. but I yeah bounce back between like doing concept art, you know, three D art, uh, helping a bit with imp implementation, and yeah, like working with Fernanda with the teams. But yeah, stuff like that. Speaking of Fernanda, <laughs> good segue. <laughs> Where is she? Where is she? Yeah, I, yeah. I heard that she would be here. <laughs> the mother of the brawlers, uh, concept artist in the team. Uh, can you introduce yourself? Hi guys, I'm Fernanda. Yeah, so I'm from Brazil, and I'm the mother of the brawlers. Are creating brawlers with Joaquin, my fellow partner here <laughs> and uh yeah i do the brawlers creation like game mechanics i also do the art direction on brawl uh decide about the themes and skins and crazy ideas for every update also like ip holding and lore development of the world and everything related to this mess <laughs> funny mess <laughs> amazing mess <laughs> that i love yeah. But yeah, I do a bunch of everything, like also producing stuff and also uh, with the help of Ricardo on a daily basis. Cool. Yeah, and then as you said, like IP holding, can you explain what that is for the casual viewer? For mm, well, the casual, <laughs> even maybe for myself. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so my role is basically um, keep the consistency of what was created for Brawl so far and understand how this word, word works and uh, game-based, but also like word-based, the lore, the characters itself, how we can expand this and even thinking about like future projects and how we're gonna develop the, the IP in different medias and so on. So that's just keeping this big baby safe <laughs> and great and really, really cool as it was created. And Lastly, but not leastly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and Leslie. Yeah, and Leslie. Uh, you're a king, a uh, game designer in the team, and not so artistic, right? But you do a different kind of art. <laughs> yeah, I'm Joachim. Nice to meet you. And good to be here. And as Fernanda there mentioned, yeah, I have like mainly working with her on the, the brawler designs. And then actually like uh, doing some development and implementing them. So also, uh, also doing like some programming there and then, you know, making those crazy ideas from Fernanda to come alive. Not some so programming. Some <laughs> programming. <laughs> some programming. <laughs> Every time I look at his desk, he's like, you know, just like the Matrix. <laughs> <laughs> it's really intimidating. Yeah. And yeah. I think to kickstart that, uh, maybe we can go through all the brawlers you created because like one of the most pressing, or not pressing, but like the most uh, asked question is like for you to share your concepts. <laughs> the community demands to, to see them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and, I, and I, I don't have pressure enough on a daily basis, so a bit of pressure. But then maybe yeah. we can like talk about like how, what reference were used for each one of the brawlers. And as you were speaking, we are putting on the screen. So like if you're only listening, you are missing a very important part of this episode. Mm -hmm. But uh, uh, yeah, we'll be showing like the concepts on screen as you are descri describing them. So we can start with mm -hmm. Lola, which is the first brawler you created. Lola, yeah, Lola was the first one. Um, it was funny because I I had more time to do her, and it was during my half like onboarding, understanding the game, the word, and everything else. But I I, I count with like a lot of help uh, from Paul, understanding how what would be important to having a character, and he was also very open to my ideas, not about only Lola, but how I would like to develop the trio itself and also picking like what kind of archetype would be uh, the, more, the most interesting to be the lead. So when I came up with this diva idea, like uh, thinking about the most glamorous uh, time of Brawley or Brawley Wood or Hollywood, <laughs> 
I, I was thinking about mix some stuff that it's very iconic, like Marilyn Monroe and also Hollywood Boulevard, uh, this like m famous movie from the 30s or the 20s, like the golden era of the cinema. And I was trying to bring that, the, the very classic, iconic characters with uh, some kind of twist. So as a Latina, <laughs> I was trying to make some kind of interesting twist and in how these characters should behave. So instead of being like more calm and, and classy, Lola has more passion, more attitude and has more like this drama of a diva. Mm -hmm. And uh, and also like references to Mary Morrow in this in in this epoch, and also some layers of Scarface and <laughs> this kind of a movie. And I'm I'm a huge fan of like m movies and cinema in general, like trash movies or her movies, little new movies. And uh, I have like this huge backlog on my mind, and there's always some stuff that stick with me about some characters that I think that are so it's so very powerful mm. that you can always find similarities in characters like all the time so i like to explore those things and bring a different twist whenever i'm creating a character so lola is still still today is one of my favorite brawlers so far like i okay. really really like her yeah you answer already one 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 of the questions just one <laughs> now the uh, the other 30. <laughs> no, no no but i uh, also like it's i remember when you were creating lola the things you share for reference you share some like for our Brazilian audience, yeah. some Nazaré. Nazaré. <laughs> no, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. yeah, no, Nazaré, because of the passion. Oh, I also share with Martin, our like amazing uh, audio guy. Mm -hmm. I saw, I share some references with uh, Auzurpadora. Like mm -hmm. Yeah, the this soap, opera. soap opera. And like some Paola Braccio laughing. Mm -hmm. And I, I was saying, I, I want this kind of passion because mm -hmm. she's kind of crazy and like, uh, I don't know, completely in love about herself. And I, I would like to have like this kind of behavior in, in her lines and also adding some kind of funny twist with the Scarface. And he nailed in understanding the characters and everything. But yeah, I think the reference, they always have to be funny. Like uh, I love yeah. how internet works mixing those references <laughs> and i try to do the same in, in my work funny story mm, go ahead. like uh, the mechanics for her she has this ego ah, yeah, right yeah, yeah, she throws yeah, yeah. that started as a naruto naruto reference but <laughs> i just wanted to bring that on this? like hello <laughs> <laughs> like i remember the meeting yeah. because you Crazy? you weren't oh. uh with us but uh, i just joined the team uh -huh. and i remember that you were in the zoom like huge Head on the yeah. zoom. And true, you proposed true. this mechanic. We mm -hmm. were discussing mm -hmm. about Brawlywood. And oops. <laughs> Let me tie my hands here. <laughs> and you proposed this. And I was like, oh, I think this has something interesting yeah, with Persona. Ego, yeah. But you lied. You didn't yeah. tell me that. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. In the pitch, uh, I had a picture of a Naruto mm. character. It's not mm. maybe super recognizable. It's yeah. these two brothers mm. who are demons. I don't even remember. They're like mm. Orochimaru. Uh, yeah. I, I don't something. even remember. Says no. the guy that consumes Naruto <laughs> every day. No, no, no. <laughs> Just, uh, it, it, I thought it would make for a really funny mechanic, but it didn't end up exactly like I was describing it. Mm -hmm. I think it's better now, of course. It's more... Were you in the team already with mm -hmm. when Lola was there? No, I actually joined so. um, a bit after or later, but uh, I think actually like Lola was the most recent brawler that basically like, and my, one of my favorites, when I kind of like uh, re was reintroduced to mm. Brawl, like uh, before I joined Supercell and I started playing more Brawl again, like after some time, uh, Lola was like the latest and, and, and Brawler then and yeah, I, I really liked her. But I actually worked on her, uh, the second gadget, that was actually one of my first. The swap? <laughs> ah, the swap. Yeah, the swapping gadget, yeah. That was one of the first like things I, I did when jo after joining the team. Yeah, very clever mechanic, I think. Yeah, yeah. It works very well. Was, do you have an inspiration for that one? Was it? League I think of it Legends? was probably like uh, stolen directly from Reddit. <laughs> <You> <laughs> stolen? That's a wow. strong word. Hey, let's use, borrow. Let's use yeah. this word. <laughs> At least no. it came clean. <laughs> yeah. Inspired by. We are very transparent, right. as you can see. <laughs> no, like, uh, great thanks for, for, you know, all you guys <laughs> making the user my, zero my work to easier. <laughs> yeah. Keeping you walking fed. Yeah, 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 exactly. Well fed. <laughs> Um, and then uh, you release um, Grom, and who was together with Grom? Um, it was. I would just talk. Was it Fang? 
No. No. Yeah, yeah. Which Ron is Frank. Frank. Ron Frank. Ron Frank. Because Frank was well, the new year. Well, we were close, yeah. Lola. Yeah. Uh, that's why. Uh, no. I, I, makes sense. <laughs> no. Now we're talking. A fun brawler. Fang is amazing. Fang, Fang is amazing. Fang. Yeah. Fang we is just like cool. skip Grom. <laughs> well, hey, no. Grom was, oh, remember when uh, Grom was Grom. broken? Like, he was OP as hell yeah, 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 when he, we were re- releasing him. He was yeah. the strongest There was thrower. something about his texture also. Like, something leaked. Something leaked. Ah, yeah, because mm-hmm. he was in the client with the Club League update, which we had no brawler. His, um, i- yeah. his data or whatever was there in the client. Like the, t- ah, the texture. You're right. Yeah. Like a working progress t- mm-hmm. texture that looked yeah, like garbage. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it was so bad. <laughs> Oh man! <laughs> People are even like, "Is this official?" Like, this <laughs> Because the face off is like, but yeah. they're completely like hand painted. But, but yeah. what is the inspiration for Grom? Grom and what is what is the trauma he has <laughs> <laughs> with his Gr- Grom was uh, probably what's the name of that movie? Kindergarten. Car. Ah, yeah, yeah, with yeah. Schwarzenegger. Yeah, with Schwarzenegger. And I, I was I was trying to have like this big guy with some trauma that is usually like those heroes, action heroes, yeah. they usually have like those trauma and memories from the war. And I was trying to think about something else that could be very like traumatic and intense, like a kindergarten teacher. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and with this <laughs> fear of kids, like when he hear the screams and breaking everything, like this kind of stuff would be fun. And it's funny because he ended up working in a theme park, so mm. there's only That's kids irony. running yeah. around. So he's always in pain and under a lot of stress. <laughs> so yeah, and and also the, the funny thing about his eyes having like this crazy eyes look with the creep smile. Traumatized. So that's yes. why he has to hide his <laughs> so otherwise he looks very scary. And we actually modeled the whole head, his whole head, yeah. right? Like oh, yeah, his hair. Have his whole so head. we had to draw like his haircut and stuff. You know? He even has like hair yeah, kind of cut. You can like, see in the animation when he jumps, you can see a bit yeah. of his face. A little bit, yeah, but it never, like the hoodie never yeah. really goes down yeah. all the way. But uh, his whole head is modeled. Which is a waste of geometry. Uh, <laughs> a waste of time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. oh, <laughs> a waste of time as well because you, because you had to draw. You had so no, much. No, uh, wait. For sure, it doing was it. One day yeah. we can release the. The yeah. The, oh, yeah. Hood, no hood. No hood. hood, hood yeah. No hoodie girl. It's like no hat mortis, but. <laughs> no hoodie girl. And yeah. then the other one was. Um, What did I say? Fang. Fang. I was fang, <laughs> fang, yeah, Fang. fang. What, do you, what do you have against Fang? Come on, come clean. <laughs> I like him. I like him. You yeah. like Fang? Yeah. I like Fang. Yes. <laughs> What is happening? Awkward moment. <laughs> <laughs> awkward moment there. Like, mm, I like it. I like it. Ah, uh, the best thing about Fang was the reference you shared, which uh, was like yeah. the... Michael Jackson thing, right? The yeah. The impersonator. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, I remember that. <laughs> I remember uh, I shared with the team. It was this... I don't know where is this video it's from. It's a meme. It's a video. It's a meme with this Michael Jackson dancing on a <laughs> street alone. I remember? Okay. He's doing I some moves. I was, yes, on the team. Yeah, and then he, that that was the, the core of the <laughs> idea. He's doing some Michael Jackson moves and then he kicks the, f- the uh, <laughs> do some kicking movie off, yeah. and the shoe goes off and he <laughs> runs off. I was like, this is perfect. Yeah. And uh, we used. I always wonder where that, like, <laughs> where did you get the idea for the shoe? <laughs> and that actually was one of my, like, like Michael Jackson. Yeah. <laughs> most of, the you know, most of the f- <laughs> Fernando's designs, Start off with a meme or something. Like start, that. So, yeah. But it's not <laughs> even like a popular meme. It's just some like cryptic <laughs> Brazilian thing. I don't know. It's a very peculiar sense of humor. For sure. But that's yeah. the thing, like because we had, I had other references like the L.A. Cop, Hollywood Cop. I don't know. Ah, uh, yeah, the Chico Ed Murphy. Pesada, yeah, yeah, Ed Murphy movie. Ed Murphy movie. Like, so he has like this cool guy kind of vibes, and but he's obsessed about martial arts. But the thing about just doing a brawler like cool in martial arts, like stop yeah, yeah, stars. Yeah. We need a fun twist. So Michael Jackson, like sprinkle some <laughs> Michael so Jackson Mimi on top. Yeah, of Yeah, so the shoe was like from the from the start. The, the concept like on the gameplay because like you know it, you could think like it's kind of like almost felt like that maybe there was like a gameplay idea of this brawler that kicks but or then there was like this kind of prototype of a brawler that shoots mm-hmm. but then like you kind of needed to adjust adjust yeah, yeah. Uh, the design but yeah I remember like a heated discussion we had that uh, yeah you know, like, I remember even Felix talking yeah. about like how can we make like the kicks like just flying kicking mm-hmm. or like like shooting like, like this like a uh, force pulse kind of thing you know like this energy ball mm-hmm. or something we consider yeah. that as well but then because he just like his shoes just respawn you know in his <laughs> <laughs> well <laughs> which is 
It's and hard. he no stays without the uh, like just with the socks. It actually comes. No, no, no. It comes off and then immediately spawns another shoe. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's like yeah. infinite shoe mode. Yeah. yeah. He should make money off of it, you know. <laughs> <laughs> just selling shoes. I Start want a business. That, the, yeah. uh, the shoe with the Fang shoes as a swag here. Yeah, that was yeah. one thing I would love to. Actually, the place to put yeah. popcorn. I said that on the brown <laughs> team, and they yeah. were laughing at me. For another thing, it's a really awesome cool idea, pocket. Yeah. To, to <laughs> so have. you can. Yeah. So it can be like popcorn smelling like cheese. Is <laughs> no, it's, it's in the front. It's not, it's not gonna touch your your food. So sure. it's fine. Very hygienic. <laughs> yeah. I was thinking of an actual uh, sneaker. Yeah, that's yeah. what we. That's what she means, but yeah, with but a pocket in front. Like a, ah, that yeah, you can put the popcorn. Kind uh, of thing, okay. So. Yeah. Pantufa, yeah, yeah. To walk in the office and put some snacks. <laughs> you can put other stuff. Doesn't <laughs> need to be popcorn. Sure, for now. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> then, uh, do you want to talk about more about Fang, or should we go to the next one? Yeah, what else we can talk about? Yeah, that's a bunch of cool stuff. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Yeah, no, there yeah. Something about thing I forgot. Is it inspired like by Bruce Lee, Jack Chan? Bruce Lee, yeah. Jack Chan. Sure. Yeah, also even the first sketches when uh, because I usually do this kind of posing sketches to feel the vibe mm -hmm. of the character, like to also understand more about his personality. This is something that uh, right now I don't have that much time, <laughs> but I usually do a lot. Like I did a lot with Lola, a bunch of like. Um, character expressions, acting poses, because it helps the, the animators like to, to think about yeah. ideas about this character and also like to, it's almost, y you show one drawing and then you s explain about this character, it's hard to make people like read the character. Yeah. So I, I like to, to make this kind of stuff to, to give a chance to the brawler to introduce himself with the sketches. So I did that a lot and also Bruce Lee, um Jackie Chan was also like major references for him because he represents like the the Turbo Theater is the area about action movies. Mm -hmm. So I like to have something about badass, cool for like kung fu, like art martial movies and like those big guys with machine guns mm -hmm. and also the heroines, like the true heroes mm -hmm. in the <laughs> in this genre. So I was thinking about three different directions for that. So. I see. And he's not, um, he's a wannabe actor or he's an actor or a, Ever like Steven Seagal. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Steven Seagal, yeah, an great actor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Amazing actor. <laughs> Nico, Asima Dali. <laughs> 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 and uh, yeah, I think th in this area they are passionate about mm -hmm. movies. So I think Fang is the closest one, the one that actually has maybe a real chance <laughs> to be an actor. <laughs> oh my God, Buster has got to yeah, already Buster. like out of the. <laughs> <laughs> but Buster is more like the the funny friend, you mm -hmm, know, that mm -hmm. supports like yeah. yeah, we too, we're gonna do this. <laughs> but like the guy that has more chances, obviously mm -hmm. Fang. So they actually want to be actors. Uh... Yeah, Fang more, more, okay. and like having this chance on on Brawl would but yeah would be something like this we have to go to oh yeah <laughs> this is <feels> like <laughs> jails having to talk about <laughs> do you know this person <laughs> yeah we are answering lots of questions already because there is a what is the process of creating a browser ah, reference cool. so like if you go through all of them i guess we answer oh, no, nice, questions nice. already but i think uh, i'm refreshing my, my memory and you guys have yeah. to help me because yeah it's a lot <laughs> Let's and we are soon getting to your first brother design, but not yet, not yet. Now it's Eve. Eve, Eve, yeah. Eve, yeah. Well, I was already there uh, ah. when Eve was worked on, but uh, that was while I was working on the new gadgets, the second gadgets. Mm. Then so I was kind of like, but I was on the loop. <laughs> Almost there. On the loop. <laughs> yeah. Getting close. <laughs> Eve, yeah. Eve was, I was... I had some ideas for Eve, like when I was doing my, my test for Brawl, uh, I think one of the, the possible trios, like when, when I received my test, was uh, Ruffs. Mm. And then I had some ideas, but it wasn't Eve, but some references in mind. So that guy from, Jesus, um, Space Ghost from Coast to Coast. Oh. There's this, this weird bug. I forgot his name. Hi, Zorak. Zorak. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and because I was thinking, <laughs> the <laughs> reference is going far. But because I was thinking, like, the, the fun thing about Rufus is, is, like, we have this, like, dog universe, like, with, yeah. the, with the Gru and like, a dog itself. Mm -hmm. And the space theme, I was thinking about something cool as a, some kind of arc enemy would be, 
like an alien and like the the but not a cat because too mm, obvious yeah. and and something that we could play with the alien concept like a bug so uh, eve is this flea that wants to colonize ruffs putting eggs <laughs> on him to raise her babies so we can you know huge fan of alien franchise uh. <laughs> so i was even talking those days that i should make eve a bit more looking like an alien like ah, a xenomorph no. yeah. yeah because it would be so cute but yeah i ended up using like some of the concepts like the eggs even the shape of the eggs i was trying to do something close to that ended up being a bit more close to metroid but i also yeah, like yeah. the design so I, i i think it works so she ended up being like this cute little space fleet that yeah, and you introduce to... a new body type for it right like yeah no other the brawler has that uh, i mean now hank <laughs> yeah now <laughs> hank so that <laughs> answer another question are they the same size yeah they are the same size right? <laughs> well in the I, 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 I answer right with now. the question <laughs> <laughs> yeah right well it's tricky because like in kind of <laughs> well <Wow. laughs> what is it explain that <laughs> I picked the wrong button. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. Keep going. Right. <laughs> Nothing Just happened. It was I thought that was... Uh, did you say something? <laughs> uh, beep. Yeah. yeah. You said after that, but... Okay. Uh, but yeah, like the the models are made uh, with a certain size, but then when they're uh, implemented in the build, mm -hmm. they might be... The sizes might change for gameplay purposes and stuff. Mm -hmm. And we consider the ca canon uh, size is the, the one in the build, you know, not the one in the model. Mm -hmm. But the model uses the same size. Yeah, same but size. I'm not sure about it. Proportions, I think. Yeah. We yeah. Can yeah. Do yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So it remains a mystery. Yeah, yeah. it will remain a mystery. Someone needs to <laughs> actually measure. <laughs> <laughs> you have to put them together, maybe yeah. in animation and stuff. Yeah. Then that would be the accurate. It's tricky because the tank, like we scaled the tank uh, a lot to test, right? Like wh what the I ideal size would be. Mm -hmm. So Hank scaled alongside it, you know? So. Yeah. Mm. It might not be exactly the same as uh, as Eve at this point. So I guess we are like uh, more open to a brawler ideas that are like alien than like <laughs> cats or dogs, <laughs> <laughs> right? No, I still want to make a more clear reference to the alien franchise on next mm. brawler. So more aliens like, incoming. More, oh, yeah. oh, oh, right. oh. Oh. at cool. least the something close to that because that's my passion. I have to, I have to do this. You heard it here first, make yeah. from the mother. Yeah. <laughs> right. Now it's time for your kings to shine. Mm. It's uh, Boney and Janet. Oh. All right. You did both? No, I actually I uh, worked on Boney. Yeah, and, and Santu. Uh, yeah, Santu was working still on Janet, but we were working at the same time. So Boney was the first roller I, I worked on. And I, I think that was actually uh, uh, really interesting to think about the pipeline and how, how we work on here. But because I was like new join to the team, Uh, I kind of jumped to directly like Fernanda's design here. So Fernanda just like <laughs> showed showed the team he, her design and and then like it was like well now make it work <laughs> in game and, and figure out all the the small It's a bit details. more friendly. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but uh, but it was I I think the the initial concept already from the was really strong. Like with the the girl and a tiny girl in a cannon shooting herself, I guess that was kind of the, the yeah. pitch, and 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 from there it was sort of like really natural to come up with the mechanics, and I guess there like on the gameplay side, what I wanted to emphasize was kind of the contrast between the two modes. You have the slow and like heavy mode, and then like small and fast uh, mode, and then kind of switching between those two. Mm. Was it part of the concept already that she was shooting her own feet? <laughs> this, this encapsulates, you know, Fernando's outside the, of the box thinking. You know? It's like, outside. I can't think of a better example. It's like, I think what does she shoot? Teeth. <laughs> <laughs> no, but the, the funny thing, the, the truth about Bonnie is that when I, I had this idea about exploring two brawlers at the same time for this trio specifically because like the, the family thing and everything I was like yeah maybe we can came up with like sisters brother siblings yeah and I had some clear vision for Janet and I started with her but when it comes to Bonnie I wasn't having like any fun idea anything that was like catching me and i i remember that i did some explorations i think was like the slingshot stuff or mm. yeah. we, we, i was like 
kind of sketching something around that, but I wasn't happy. But then, I don't know, in two days <laughs> of despair, <laughs> I think Panic. it might have a sketch of one meeting, mm. I think one weekly. I was sketching Bonnie's idea and Pavel started to record when I was sketching in my in my sketchbook. I think was he was recording what? He, I was sketching during the meeting, okay. not paying attention. I was just sketching. <laughs> Classic and, <laughs> and Pavel started to record. And I, it, if I'm not mistaken, that was one of the first sketches of Bonnie. Because I was like, okay, maybe she just throw herself uh -huh, out of the uh -huh. canoe. And she, she's kind of suicidal. Like, we can play, I don't know, with something destroyed. And then came this idea about, like, the missing tooth. Yeah, yeah. And then, like, why not use the tooth itself? <laughs> To be some kind of, weapon. I don't know, yeah. yeah, weapon. Is there a connection between you know fangs spawning, respawning shoes and Respawn uh, <laughs> or respawning <laughs> teeth? <laughs> yeah, they are brought kissing link. So, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but I remember, yeah, like we had like a bit of a trouble and 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 we did like some brainstorming there around like exactly like should she like shoot herself from the cannon or should mm. she like just switch be switch between these two modes or or how should that work like? Mm -hmm. How is she controlling the, like, the cannon? Is she actually I like? I vaguely remember yeah. that. Did you even consider yeah. like her coming back to it somehow? Like. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, we we did like Some go break. back and forth a bit on that, and it was actually quite difficult to kind of. Actually, we ended up with a more simpler design at the the end, how it is now, mm -hmm. uh, but we like tried different kind of things, and and like maybe the cannon would have been a pet, like instead and so on, but. Mm -hmm. Uh, actually, I have a question for Fernando. Like, mm -hmm. did you anticipate that Janet would become so popular? You know, she's one. I think, from my perspective, she's one of the most popular yeah, amongst yeah, the yeah. community, right? Yeah, a lot really? of fan art. This female yeah, brawler yeah. is the, one of the most. No, popular. I, I, <laughs> it was completely. I was Bonnie is one of my favorites, and I, I was more like aiming to her, but mm. yeah, but I don't know why Janet is popular. <laughs> I don't know if we want to go there. <laughs> 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 but like, it, it makes... Right. <laughs> there was a lot of talk yeah. about that splash screen. Yeah, uh, because yeah, when, 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 when like we released the mm. brawlers, like a bunch of fan arts was kind of... <laughs> On the edge, art. yeah. I was like, hmm, she's a teenager, guys. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. But also like, uh, it makes sense because she she's a pop star, right? Yeah. It's almost like a Taylor Swift kind yeah. of a... Yeah. Mm -hmm. Kind of vibe. So yeah. it's understandable. And when you create, like when you're creating Janet, was it already in your mind that there would be long to two trio? Uh, uh, yeah, okay. the, the idea was like Stu being like this father figure. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because Stu is really funny and yeah, yeah. like it would be interesting, oh, like in, in that trio specifically, like bring other brawlers with some similarities about this stunt show thing. I think it would be not hard to compete with Stu, but uh, like risking to be too similar yeah, with yeah. the same story. Like it's a, it's a place where people go to do stunts and I don't know, get hurt. So how can even Bonnie, Bonnie mm. do, does kind of the same thing as Stu, but she's not drunk when she's <laughs> doing it. But it's kind of the same idea, but with yeah. a cute twist. Yeah. So uh, it was like two different directions for the same subjects. Uh -huh. And I think the family stuff and also like it's heavily inspired by the 70s. So I could take a look at Jetson stuff. Yeah. Like even to do her uh, both vignette, yeah, I was video. checking some Jetsons references and doing like different concepts with this vintage look. So and it mm. she was like the fifty fifth role or something like that. Like it blew my mind back then that it was the oh, first time we used the jetpack. You know, like for ah <laughs> oh, yeah, jetpack like flying rollers without j a single jetpack. <laughs> that's true. That's wow. true. Both rollers were like very different. Like, yeah, we had the jetpack the like, first time with this flying thing no we had flying with eve before yeah but she and yeah she just yeah, uh, like ho yeah. hovering, hovering. Yeah. 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 yeah eve actually flies over the water right yeah so that's her special mm -hmm. thing yeah but i remember playing janet first time when she f uh started flying like it was everybody was laughing it was so fun because yeah. it's like so different <laughs> from everything else right and yeah. it, she like in the first prototype i remember she was like flying for 20 seconds or something <laughs> and she never did. Like, oh, like everybody was just <laughs> flying <laughs> <laughs> It's like if you have the option to fly, you just fly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. just fly. You don't. She's still annoying like that. Like especially in jam grab, she grabs yeah, the jams and flies. And like ah, goddamn. She's it. gone. Yep. Yeah. Basically. Um, Otis. Hmm. Otis. Yeah, Otis. 
<laughs> Jesus, more, I'm just going to files on my head. Oh, Otis. <laughs> yeah, Otis, we had this area. In fact, for this area, I remember that I had planned a completely different theme. Yeah. Because we had the water park, the dinosaurs uh, area, and we supposed to have more two kind of related with this water theme. And it had something more, I don't know, kind of like science, like exploration, deep sea exploration, exploration. Mm -hmm. But I was thinking about do something like with the underworld, like the sewers and Star Park. And I made this concept about like toxic garbage place. <laughs> <laughs> It's called the dump. Yeah. The right? dump, yeah, yeah. yeah. Dump sea Maybe we'll instead of deep sea. Maybe we'll see that in the future somewhere. Oh, we yeah. just spoiled it now. It's oh, even no. deeper, yeah. It's Maybe. even deeper. Yeah. <laughs> and it was really cool because I, people who knows, like, knows me, knows that I kind of like trash. <laughs> and I, like, yeah, the ideas. Yeah, she has ideas. this weird obsession with, like, <laughs> trash bins. And... Trash, trash is very... Trash can. Ash, very... Ash is a trash bin. Yeah. And yeah. It's her favorite design. I, I think, <laughs> like, we, we're going quite back and forth exactly on this with Fernanda, like, uh, <laughs> trying to bring trash I, I, to an I, environment. Uh, <laughs> well, well, yeah, and then about the original, like, brawler designs, and also on a gameplay perspective, are, like, kind of really different. The... Like I remember, we talked already then, like, um, like about this character who would be in a diving suit and mm -hmm. have like a big like uh, anchor as a weapon, and that actually like what uh, I was like prototyping a, a gameplay idea of of like this brawler with the big anchor who could throw that anchor, and it would actually land on ground and stay there, and then he could go and pick it up. And now you might guess. Oh, ah, yeah. Sam. yeah. So actually, <laughs> Sam. that was uh, Sam, but we then introduced those mechanics actually Amazing. later. Yeah. And and then we had the other idea of this deep sea mine, and and that's kind of where the silence did mm -hmm. come out. Like and and that kind of mechanics then turned into the Otis. Yeah. I was so excited about this area because we had this discussion and we talked about the mine. Even the guy kind of looking like Ali yeah. with the mask. <laughs> Ali is another artist. Fellow, another yeah, artist. Super salient. <laughs> and for us, like, we were super excited. But then when I presented to the team, I felt like some kind of <laughs> not so excitement in the room. But if, if, if it's got, because it was, <laughs> we were comparing with uh, Otis and Otis was like so yeah. cute. And, like, cute and yeah, with a massive head and like the yeah. other The guy's just Ali. <laughs> it's just like wow. a member from the team. <laughs> no, but I mean, like, it's because it's just a human being. <laughs> yeah, because I, I also put, like, a sketch of Otis, and Otis yeah. was more, like, appealing, like, yeah. more cute. More I'm not sure that was why. Like, I remember if she means when we ditched the, like, the deep sea dump idea. Yeah. yeah. I think it was, like... And also the summer vibes. Yeah. We had this discussion mm -hmm. about, that. like, are we bringing sewers to the summer vibes? Yeah, you cannot bring trash to every. <laughs> I, I, I don't see a problem. Well, every place has garbage. So sure, it's sure it's a problem. part of life. Right? <laughs> I mean, depending on the beach that you go, there's a lot <laughs> going there. So maybe that's why I made this connection. Not always making that a commentary <laughs> of society. <laughs> but yeah, but at, at the end was like, okay, maybe yeah. this is not working. But then I start to work again on Otis and we find this direction about being like a street art because also like this deep sea paint brawl, this area like being dark and a bit more far in the park, I would like to explore like, okay, what kind of character would be there to hide and mm. for different reasons. So Otis is like this kind of Banksy inspired uh, brawler that he has like this Not second life, but this he is this creature. Mm -hmm. Totally human, by the way. Totally human, <laughs> human, as you can see. Yeah. Inside, like this diving suit, like making his own art, like spreading his tag. I'm also a big fan of graffiti and pisho. So I, I would like to bring something interesting for this brawler, like with different reasons to be there. And also play with the thing about a paint brawl is usually like people shooting people. So he could do the shooting thing with ink, mm -hmm. but with like an artistic view kind of thing. So I think that would be a, a different twist on, on that area. And after that with Frank, Frank is also, uh, Frank, Jesus, Hank. <laughs> Hank is also there for different reasons, yeah, like yeah. escaping from kitchen. <laughs> so the paint bro area is like this war <laughs> area that people go there to kind of hide in. Hmm. Yeah.
and this one also had like these the whole vibe of this environment was like this street music uh, yeah like street beastie, Bo beastie, beastie boys, yeah. boys i remember that i was sharing some references of yeah. beastie boys for the loading screen mm -hmm. with the fish eye camera yeah and everything and uh where did the idea for seal come from seal seal is uh, because of stencil mm -hmm. <laughs> I, yeah, yeah. and i was explaining to king like she's gonna be like this and then he splashes the ink and <laughs> explaining his stencil. Have i have a question mm -hmm. yeah. does seal like to be splashed on the face Splash. <laughs> jesus christ i'm not gonna answer <laughs> splashed on the face because he's going didn't you say that she just stands there and gets no, splashed? No, but she, she works as like this, not assistant, but some kind of you partner see? doing art. Yeah, it's so like you're saying so she hates her she, job? No, she <laughs> has fun, she has fun. See, so she likes she, being splashed. Yeah. yeah, we can say that. Legit question. Yeah. <laughs> Dual an artist. Um, and then after that, we uh, had Sam, which is like you explained the mechanic. Mm. And Gus came along with Sam on the same update. Now we have to talk about two, <laughs> two processes at the same time. I like yeah, it. Now, I now it starts the no time to explain for real. <laughs> because, <laughs> yeah, we have to work in two brawlers at the same time. And it was more intense, our process, for sure. Yeah. Because it's usually, I, I say to Joaquin, like, okay, I have those two ideas. And we usually discuss one week about one and do this back and forth. Like, I, I propose more stuff, hmm. show references, videos and stuff that I think that might work as a mechanic. And while he's working on one, I have to jump in another one and sometimes dig it a completely different direction, like for Gus, for example. So this actually like answers a bit of the the process like <laughs> yeah. question for the process how do we create the brawler so yeah. so there's the, there's this kind of moment of chaos where Fernanda and, and I like clash and then we mm. try to like you know make the brawler actually like <laughs> get <Yeah>. born uh, <laughs> from that and it's um, yeah I, I guess I could give like an example for example a good example is this uh, Sam on, on that idea because I had this original like uh, concept and on, on gameplay side uh, already earlier with this like more like dwarf like brawler with a big axe and can throw that axe and 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 then he would be like swinging that axe and have like this big uh, distinct thing like uh, attack mm -hmm. that is low and heavy and then he when he has thrown the axe his uh, attack would be just bare fist so it would be fast but like not as effective that was kind of the, the initial idea but mm -hmm. the first one was like ah <laughs> that uh, that axe will not work <laughs> not interesting yeah. enough like so, yeah. like what do you think about these fist weapons and uh, <laughs> hey, we have you watched bear, bear bear traps <laughs> yeah what if they are bear traps and then like okay let's yeah. start uh from scratch but yeah. <laughs> that we actually like uh, no we managed to no but get I, it to work. I i'm very happy when you got when you when you laugh about my ideas to me, that's the thermometer. It's like, okay, I have other things to propose, but see, this is also fun. And then like usually joke is off. Oh, that's cool. Like we he came up with more funny stuff on top of that. Because I think if you don't have like this kind of synergy, mm. it became something like, okay, this is not working. I have to find another solution. And it's just like it's a task, a problem that you yeah. have to solve. But when we are having fun, it's more like okay i don't know how, like he, he, you sometimes say that i don't know how can this work <laughs> but it's fun so let's try so at least you are engaged yeah. To, yeah. to make it happen yeah, i think so. you kind of like work well in that sense that that you usually bring the crazy idea ideas out and then i'm more more of the break <laughs> i feel yeah. and i like my ideas are like completely boring uh, <laughs> no, no, many no. times but but then you know you might like yeah and yes mm -hmm. then something and, and turn them to something interesting mm -hmm. and, and not like that yeah and, and I, I have to give a heads up that hikardo it's my my <laughs> warrior <laughs> <What>? here it's <laughs> always the rubber duck because when i'm <laughs> when i'm sketching and i got stuck with some designs or some ideas that i think it's boring or not there yet i always call like hikardo come here and like this <laughs> just stand there <laughs> quiet quiet, quiet. Okay, while i talk to you Ju it's always like okay judge me like what do you think this is this is garbage what do you think oh. and it's funny when he says like hey do you know this character from this anime or from this movie or oh, from yeah, this yeah. Uh, Naruto I, I usually reference. don't know don't everything's like. Naruto reference <laughs> oh no it's kind of funny that some of her characters look kind of resemble some like very famous or kind of you know very good 
anime characters, mm. but she doesn't know these. I know for a fact she doesn't know them. <laughs> for a fact. But for a fact, for absolu- absolutely, which is really funny. And I think that it's because like these uh, mangakas, you know, the artists who created these mangas have the same like visual libraries mm. for Nanda, you know, they grew up on mm. the same, like loving the same things. Mm. So they kind of like have these uh, shared kind common of, knowledge. Yeah, yeah. Mm. which is really interesting to see. Yeah, yeah. I hope so. But talking about like the um, sun mechanic, like, because uh, like you said, like boring ideas and thing. Mm. I think like uh, creators were talking that, uh, oh, I didn't think you could make another melee brawler interesting. And they were really um, happy with the fact that start with super. So like he creates a different dynamic. And then he, he plays totally different because he's basically throwing that thing and going after it all the time, right? So he, he plays differently from every other brawler. I think because I'm required a l- more play testing than usual, mm. and and we went yeah, quite yeah, yeah. quite few iterations of him on the mechanic side. Mainly, I think in in brawl it's really difficult to exactly come inter- to come like viable uh, new melee brawlers uh, to, to introduce them. And for Sam, exactly, we had many times in the first playtest this issue that it was just hard to get to your opponent without having some kind of huge movement skill yeah. or jump. But then actually, I think in one of those playtests, I don't even remember, remember from where or from whom, but this idea of did like, what if uh, he would actually have already the yeah. supercharged so that would help him then to kind of get closer to his enemies too. And yeah. I think he's one of the most fun brawlers yeah. to play with. He's top tier for me yeah. yeah and gus gus the leo gus <laughs> gorillas leo gus. Uh, yeah it was it was character. like i'm a huge fan of gorillas like my my whole life my whole not my whole life but m- the important part of the my band life. just to <laughs> be clear yeah, ju- yeah gorillas, <laughs> the band. i love monkeys yes. <laughs> i love monkeys my yeah. whole life yeah, and like Jamie Hewlett and everything. When when I was like sketching this, thinking about like something cute, creepy, it was. I, I remember that I did some sketches and I showed to Frank, and he was like, "Ah, oh, this has some gorillas vibe." Mm. And mm-hmm. it wasn't the ah, intention, uh-huh. but ended up having like this this feeling, and I was like, mm, "Good, good sign." I think yeah, that that's be going a good direction. <laughs> <laughs> it's the clothes actually. He looks. Mm. He dressed like one yeah, of the Yeah, like the saturated, yeah, like yeah. there's some 2D vibes on, yeah. on him, like the eyes kind yeah. of that. Did he have always the the balloons from the very yes. initial sketch? I, I, in his first sketch, he has like a bunch of, a ton of balloons. different yeah. balloons that's supposed to be different ghosts. Uh-huh. And he's like this kid mm. holding the yeah, balloon and yeah. looking sad to the kid, <laughs> you know? It's very creepy. I remember there was like this kind of a sketch you were playing with, with like this big ground, more like a Mario ghosts kind of thing like oh. big white yeah the go- I, I also had this idea about the ghost like swallowing yeah. like this Mario yeah. reference damn it went to s- through so many iterations I remember yeah, yeah. like yeah. at this point like I remember one of the design ideas you had it was you right it was working on it or no yeah I was working yeah. on, on, on Gus both yeah. like the balloon was increasing inside remember every time you hit yeah a when oh, you're yeah, char- yeah, charging true. something yeah, it visually it charged yeah. like yeah yeah we, so we had the idea that the, the balloon he's carrying would like actually like, grow mm-hmm. uh, while he's he's doing damage i remember yeah. that yeah. and also like a lot of pain during the animation to to make the movement mm. with the balloon mm. it yeah. was quite complex and this actually comes to the the funny like a uh, problem we always or challenge we like struggle quite often that this like as mentioned that br- we don't have any magic in in Brawl Stars uh, yeah, universe yeah, yeah. Yeah, right so yeah. so actually the original uh, prototype for Gus was called uh, like Shadow Priest and and again <laughs> like really completely uh, yeah like really <laughs> how the ND of you yeah <laughs> and, and I, I was ha- had it in a concept like saying it said something like He's casting like some kind of shadow bolts that drain the enemy's life and spawns these kind of souls or something. And then like Fernando, like <laughs> <laughs> like what you could manage to come up with there, like to have the balloons and then makes like, you know, total sense now, like that he throws those balloons and traps the souls mm-hmm. uh, to the balloons and then you can pop the balloons and, you know, it, it was... Uh, Awesome, I think, and he, uh, he's definitely one of my favorite brawlers. Yeah, he's really cool, and he plays really well as well. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, healers are boring. <laughs> <laughs> he's a cool re- healer, actually. Byron is healer. the best healer. Yeah, Byron. He got nerfed to the ground. Poor oh, guy. Yeah. Wow. 
<laughs> more badass. <laughs> I will con- convince you someday, maybe with a legendary uh, healer. Ah, uh-huh, legendary healer. Do you have a design? I have few. If you have, nice. this is not like a spoilers. They are just just here. <laughs> just oh. yeah, living my mind. Yeah, yeah. matter, matter of time. Yeah. yeah. Matter of time. Matter of time. <clears throat> Then you release Buster. Buster, yeah, Buster. Uh, but we mentioned before. I always had. Oh, by the way, the first brawler for the Turbo Theater that I had in mind was Buster. Buster changed a lot. Yeah, yeah. It was more think, like Shredder. Yeah, it was yeah. more like humble. Yeah, yeah, vibes, and I this this sketch of a guy holding the no, projector. No, he held it like this. <laughs> uh, it, first of all, yeah, it was here, like a projector, like a bazooka. Yeah, yeah. and he had but, an X on his face, right? Yeah, X on his face, and but the hair was quite similar, like this. Can uh, we can show? Hair. We can yeah. show. Yeah, yeah. Sketches, yeah. yeah, and I oh I I presented him in the summer the uh, some autism mm-hmm. update as like what I was planning for the future, but we couldn't make him for yeah. this, that update. And yeah. we were just postponing, postponing, postponing. I think one day, like finally, uh, we we could make him. And it was always like the idea to have like this duo, like this, uh, what's the name of that movie with um, Keanu Reeves and... Ah, uh, Bill and Ted. Yeah, like yeah. this Bill and Ted yeah. <laughs> vibe was always like the idea. And it ended up being nice that uh, we have Fang first and then Buster because I think it was more like a fun mm. kind of like duel. And um, Buster is also like heavily inspired by Schwarzenegger, mm. <laughs> Sylvester Stallone, mm. all those guys. And like those uh, action heroes like Buffed and that he's obsessed by. And the guy from It Lives, no? It, it-, it Lives, no? Oh. It leaves. Never mind. Oh, yeah. The it glasses. Leaves. Is it leaves? I think it's. They leave. leave. They leave. leave. They That's leave. It. That's it. Mm-hmm. This guy that the glasses. Yep. Amazing moving. It's by really the way. good. So did, they leave. Uh, did Buster have like, from the very beginning, from the first concept, like the the camera? Yeah, he, yeah, had he was a, always the camera man. Yeah. yeah, he was always the camera. It's not a camera. Yeah. We didn't even try <laughs> to. His name like was Cameron. Right? True. Yeah. Yeah. Cameron. <laughs> we changed it because yeah. it was confusing. Yeah. yeah. Because yeah. it's not a camera. Yeah, and yeah. Ricardo, you save with the name Buster yeah. because Ricardo, like, oh, this can be more like a mm. buff Buck guy. Buster, yeah. yeah. Blockbuster. Block Buster Buster and Buster means strong or something. Yeah. It's ba- uh, tough, I think. Tough. It's yeah. a good sidekick name. Good sidekick. Because I think there was like actually like some original prototypes for him that was like totally different. Yeah. Uh, like he was, more, was like he damage dealer, long range, shooting, like yeah, really? something yeah. I think it changed a lot his his mechanics until because at first it was like the bazooka thing, so it was more mm. shooting. It it wasn't supposed to be like a shoot, but then we changed the projector. Mm. Even the weapon was like a lot of interactions until we have the final. I think it was like after we had like some discussions that what we had been releasing the brawlers like on mechanic side. Uh, on the beam and, and there had not been like any tanks really for a long time and there was like already mm. also from a community like that we feel like we need to do a tank next so then even though Buster was not like necessary from the beginning mm-hmm. like meant to be or the first concept was not like necessary a tank or that he would have a tank mechanics this is also something funny which I find funny which is like um, a Buster is probably the smallest tank you know Just like yeah. uh, like Grom is the biggest thrower, you know, and, and Fernando always plays with these kind of <laughs> archetypes. <laughs> But he's supposed to be more chubby. Mm. Yeah, we, we always discuss that that when the illustrations picture him like smaller, a bit yeah. more skin, it's like, damn, it's not like this. It's yeah. Yeah. bigger. It's, yeah. not the, it's not the same model as Colt. He bigger. went on a diet, you know. <laughs> yeah, when we developed him. When he joined mm. Raw Stars, he yeah. was on a diet. So. <laughs> <laughs> I know he's getting getting some weight. No, but I think like the fun artists, they kind of get the spirit of yeah. Buster because he often appears with like the belly like uh-huh. off the <laughs> of, of the pants and yeah. things like that. Yeah. And I think this trio like uh, Buster, Fang, and Maisie, they have the like the best fun art Energy. interactions. Yeah, yeah. It, it's really cool to see like yeah. the stories that the community came up. Yeah, with. when the community community was puzzled if it was like Lola. Um, Buster and Fang as a trio, mm-hmm. they were also creating something funny because like, <laughs> Lola is like this. Oh my God, these guys again, yeah. which Maisie replace uh, with yeah. the same vibe. Mm-hmm. Uh, but yeah, like the interaction that they have together is really cool. And I think like when we post like uh, when we announced 
that they are like a bromance. Like, I was like, people don't understand the meaning of bromance. It's like very good friends. Yeah. To the, almost like a relationship, right? Uh -huh. But, um, and then like, once we posted that, then like, Fang and Buster are always together, like, having mm -hmm. pizza night or whatever. <laughs> so, like, it's really cool. It's really cool. Yeah. And I love the idea of the, they having this bromance, I think. Yeah. Totally. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <Characters>. <laughs> yeah. Um, next one, uh, there is three in a row. So like you were talking about like having two was like a uh, chaos. Yeah. Now. Let's add the an extra. Oh, yeah. Wow. This update PTSD. was insane. Yeah. yeah. This one. I think the reason why gray is black and white is because <laughs> I was using a lot of color <laughs> on Mandy and Chess. I was like, no. I thought you were going to say, I thought you were going to say it's going to be easier. No time. Yeah. yeah. No, no time. It's black and white. Yeah. It's like, the, let's go with black and white. Right. right. It's true that gray. the plate was like color overload. Yeah. Mandy and Chester. Yeah, like the environment. The environment you had it was explosion of colors. Yeah, yeah. 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 There's a lot of chaos. And but the the good thing is that since Mandy and Chester are part of the same trio, yeah. I could think about both at the same time. Also, mm. it's it's easy in a way, but it's also tricky because you can you can have some overlappings. Like it's almost you're creating things in a way. Mm. I think with Janet and Bonnie, they, they became a bit more far, but with, with Chester and, and Ma Mandy, yeah. it was a bit more tricky to, to, to do that. But I think Chester has a strong... Uh, um, personality. Yeah, yeah, personality, and, and uh, it's a different direction. It's like a, this prankster, yeah. trickster mm. guy with a, a bossy, more like, I don't know, angry girl <laughs> in disguise of a sweet girl. <laughs> Yeah. So. By the well, way, for me, well. for me, Mandy is your self-portrait. You know, there's <laughs> nothing you can tell me. That will... <laughs> I wonder why. I've always been saying that. <laughs> no, and it's she just... kind of looks like you. you know, yeah. Because just me. because I was doing the all her doodles were like with a grumpy face, uh -huh. um. and when I draw this grumpy face, it's like yeah, this, this, this you. <laughs> like, this is something that followed me the, my whole life. Whenever I was drawing something with a grumpy face, it's like this is. It's not just a grumpy face. Yourself. It's not just a grumpy face. <laughs> And I think like Chester had also, at least it felt to me like from the kind of very beginning when we did talk about the possible like mechanics, we basically we knew we want to do possibly something a bit more special. Yeah. We did not have yet decided that he would be legendary or anything like that. We usually decide that later. Uh, but but yeah, we were like dis discussing in the team, in the wider team and stuff like about randomness and, and could we uh, add like, because we had kind of been trying to avoid and still are like trying to keep it in really minimal, any kind of randomness uh, in the game. And, and But we wanted to do also something really fun. Mm -hmm. So we had this many different kind of ideas of a brawler that would be changing their ultimate somehow. So, so after we kind of figured, did start talking about this candy land and something like crazy funny there like i think the, and the candy kingdom then like yeah. chester from there and mm -hmm. and i think the whole team like kind of got like this unified vision quite fast so i think it, mm -hmm. it, it was kind of a really smooth process in at least from my perspective compared to many of the other brawlers we need to like bounce back and forth much longer i feel yeah and i, I think in in my mind it was like making gray from a completely different universe like even being black and white mm -hmm. it was good to avoid like similarities yeah. because it's completely opposite like it's the silent <laughs> brawler <laughs> like from the the silent movies era and also heavily inspired by buster keaton and the whole acting thing like their mechanics being something completely related to acting and like really um uh, Acting jokes, not acting gags, but visual gags yeah. that we could play as, as gameplay mechanics. This was very fresh to to to, to not mix like mm -hmm. three brawlers at, at the same time. But it, it would be nice to also like jump in the production side <laughs> because what most people don't know, it's like we have like two months, mm. kind of two months yeah, yeah. for each update. But the actual time that we have to come up with ideas, pre like do the research, present, work on the mechanics, have something kind of ready to brief partners, like yeah. to start working in mechanics and everything. It's like three weeks, four weeks maximum, something around, around that. So we don't have like all that counting that when we deliver an update, we also have interactions 
uh, to do for a while. So yeah. you cannot just start like a uh, white page yeah. <laughs> working in something else. So uh, it's it's like this work of like cleaning your mind about everything that you just created and put other stuff like at the fresh direction and working on that for some time. Like when oh, I think there's a bit of a pressure of uh, creating something new and knowing how strong would be, how fun would be to brief partners, to start everything like all the marketing side and without much time for changing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> when, yeah. when we decide in, in some things like, okay, yeah. now please make it work <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> because I'm going to brief <laughs> guys tomorrow. So, and like, okay, even the animations being something more related to the lore and story and everything else, like we, if we need to change something in their design yeah. based on their mechanics, we don't have this time of back and forth. And yeah. Ricardo can even speak more about like this production side because it's it's crazy. We are only talking about the brawlers here. We have yeah. the environment, screens, yeah. environment. Yeah. We have like loading screens and yeah. it's it's a lot of stuff that we have to do. All with the this. animations, yeah, and the stuff. animations, the effects, yeah. yeah. And I guess all, all the things <laughs> goes. That's like I have a quick scratch sketch. I just share Gonzalo. Okay, can you start doing a ping with this? Yeah, it's like yeah. <laughs> it's awesome it already works so yeah. yeah yeah this is just the start of the whole pipeline basically yeah like the, yeah at least for Nanda's part then yours of course takes mm -hmm. much yeah. longer. and i guess it's like exactly because we work on this so rigid the, the timeline and as fernanda said that there's probably like per brawler like around three weeks time uh to work on it but then in in some cases like like we work really fast mm -hmm. and, that, and that but then for example for some of the longer and cooler animations and stuff they might require like months mm -hmm. uh, and it re requires months of work and need to be decided already in advance and they will show possibly the mechanics of those brawlers mm. but we are still might be like play testing them and yeah. we still want to keep that like flexibility that okay if we play it in in a team we are testing it out and and we don't like it uh we need to be able to like change it right but that is kind of then sometimes difficult with the if we have already like started to do some animations and stuff so we'd for sure mm. yeah we try to be very agile and yeah. still have some wiggle room to change things you know when there's like f feedback later on from Fernand and stuff we try to adapt things but yeah it is pretty tough sometimes like like it, we only have one animator and L Leo Leonidas yeah. and he handles like he manages a team of outsourcers of animation and just keep in mind that we do like you know, tons of skins and, you know, brawlers. Brawlers are, of course, the most complex item, uh, but everything at the same time with tons of feedback from everyone and, and it is uh, uh, like a tall order. Somehow works. Somehow works. At the end of the day, it's done. No. And that's why there's <laughs> sometimes we sleep, like there's some some um, some problems. Like, for example, I just remember like Gray still shoots out of his chest. You know, it's oh, yeah, really yeah. frustrating uh -huh. actually because, we, <laughs> but it's like we're always changing, ch uh, chasing after the next yeah, deadline. Yeah, so yeah, it's yeah. like, it's it's tricky to go back and fix things. But yeah. we do have that like listed mm -hmm. that he actually is supposed to shoot out of his finger, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like he does a finger gun thing. Yeah, and the an animation cool. is done, yeah. Yeah. And actually like funny story, like the, the uh, in inspector, I think it's called, Inspector Gray, is it? Yeah, the detective, sorry. Get, uh, get. Ah, the skin, the skin. The, the, yeah, the skin, skin, like yeah, detective, detective Gray. Uh, like he has this whole like um, uh, revolver hand. arm, yeah, oh. hand. And he's supposed to shoot out of it, right? Uh, but uh, the concept, there was a problem with the concept art. It's actually kind of my fault. <laughs> and uh, we modeled the whole thing. Uh, like he's, I think he shoots out of his right hand, right? But the revolver was on his left. <laughs> oh, no. And the, the, the cane was on the other one, like this cane. <laughs> looking Amazing. glass thing. Uh -huh. magnifying glass sorry <laughs> uh, and then i was like leo you know the animator like <laughs> i'm sorry you're gonna kill me but we need to like just flip the whole Small thing detail, but <laughs> and, and he was like oh my gosh <laughs> <laughs> and then it was like this whole big thing to to like flip the, all the animations and then in the end you don't even see it because he shoots out of his freaking chest <laughs> you know? <laughs> in grateful job no, but uh, it's, it's it's insane because like imagine that the brawlers have more <laughs> uh more content related to create but we have to take care with the same like same ego eyes 
about the brawlers with feedbacks on 3D mechanics, yeah. art, everything, skins for them, but also every skin. So we we have to be have the same care like yeah, yeah. with the because we change the the VFX, we change animations, we change everything for skins. Those so it's some kind of like small brawlers <laughs> that we have to take care of. It's mm. it's a lot of work. It's, I, it's like this Phoenix Grove thing, right? Yeah, like it's yeah. it's we the whole team saw it. Everyone's like, wow, it looks so awesome. You know, it's we're all super proud of it. It just looks awesome. Mm -hmm. And then we ship it, and it's like we see these you know these the, mistake the basically when pad. you you're on the jump <laughs> pad, you see all the characters on the. <laughs> it's hilarious, but it's heartbreaking as well. You know, like uh, that's why <laughs> this happens because no one thought of like just going on the jump pad and testing it. I guess uh, so. Did we? Hmm. Should I say that? Did we add the mouth to Zeus Brock? Uh, yes. Okay. Zeus so like, <laughs> yeah. If you haven't just noticed, checking. that's also another thing. Like, yeah. Because uh, uh, no. when I saw, like, I was, uh, uh, I saw that like, that in the brawl talk before it was going live, and like, oh, Brock doesn't have a mouth. Is that final? Mm. And then Frank, yeah, yeah, sure, go ahead. Sure. <laughs> sure, sure. <laughs> yeah. And then it went there. But like, if I could have mentioned to the artist first, like, you just, like, yeah, just. This is something that I think it's going to be like, the, I saw some people in the community saying like, yeah, like, oh, he's not supposed to have a mouth, you know, it's yeah. the beard, you know, yeah. covering the yeah. mouth. I bet some people are going to hate that we added the mouth now. You know? so, no! <laughs> like, no, he was yeah, so much yeah, cooler yeah, without yeah. the mouth. Yeah. Come on, man. From yeah. the get-go, he was supposed to have a mouth, so. Yeah, no, but this this magic that only happens because like our team is, it's very, very synchronized. Like mm. we we like, we are very close to each other. Like yeah. maybe we are friends. We can consider it. <laughs> maybe, friends. maybe. Wow, maybe. beautiful moment. Kind, yeah. kind of <laughs> close to that. First. Almost friends. Which yeah. is very. It's, it's like it's borderline problematic <laughs> because <laughs> you you can have like this amazing chemistry. Like Ricardo, Ricardo already kind of knows what I'm, I'm gonna complain about it, so he can. <laughs> he I can, can hide it. <laughs> <laughs> I can hide it. <laughs> like I'm gonna try this, but I don't know. So sometimes I have like this quick. This I can questions? say just to tease a bit. I did a skin for Colette. People will be tr triggered at you. They'll be angry. Oh. She was kind of like, kind of like a cat. Ah, yeah, right? yeah. No. And I made it, and I was like, let's not spoil the theme. But yeah, basically, yeah, that's, that's not gonna, never gonna happen because <laughs> I was like, this is the anti Fernanda concept. You know, yeah, I showed I her. Like, yep, nope. I was like, I knew she was gonna hate it. She hated it. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, but it's still friendships. Like course, still right. strong. I knew it was gonna <laughs> happen. So, <laughs> but it, it's nice because we we can understand each other to like get ahead and and problems and solve. Like we have a lot of ownership and trust. Mm -hmm. So like I trust Leo, I trust Pervin, Ricardo, and even when art stuff mm -hmm. because they are doing like they are checking all the skins, concepts, colors. Even when I when it, when we approve something on the concept side uh, phase, like we only know if this is a good direction when we have the model yeah, ready yeah, yeah. so they are always there to check all those details and it's a lot of work a lot of work and back mm -hmm. and forth back and forth back and forth fixing stuff and doing stuff for the next update mm -hmm. and for the other update mm -hmm. so it's crazy but uh, i think this this trust and this good synergy that at the end everybody it's mm -hmm. is doing their best and yeah. and i don't know the the good mood is still yeah. there <laughs> <I should. laughs> still. You. you said it well in last uh one of our last meetings we were discussing the upcoming like brawlers and and like we both had like kind of quite like clear ideas in our heads when we went there but we had not presented it to each other yet mm -hmm. and then we like kind of like end up like cl clash and we like brainstorm and, and and like work together and at the end after like a couple hours we kind of like have this like final result that we are okay this doesn't look like anything like that <laughs> either of us had in mind but it's fun it's fun it <laughs> so works like, it's better than either of our individual ideas yeah but you know it's like <laughs> completely different mm -hmm. and, and even when because i think we we clash we, we used to do this more often in the beginning but even when we don't agree with something like uh i know that Okay, if he has like a strong opinion about yeah, that, yeah. maybe there's something there that I'm not seeing. So I trust. Like often we say, like, okay, you decide. Like to me, mm -hmm. it's fine, and we do this it's a fine. lot. <laughs> fine, <laughs> it's fine for me. And then yeah. stay two weeks without talking to each other. <laughs> it's impossible <laughs> to do that, but it, it's nice to have this. Okay, like uh, at the same time that you can be so passionate about something to to take care and to own yeah. and to ah. Uh, 
I want to know the details. <laughs> you, at some point, you're like, no, okay, but I trust you. Like, mm -hmm. this is the best. Let's go with that. Like, we, 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 this would never be like a moment when we not move forward with work because of like different opinions or I don't know, like decision making. I think this is this is really great, and we don't have time. We always yeah. remember that. Yeah. So. But I think the community sometimes asks, like, you know, how far in advance we start developing concepts yeah. and stuff like that. And we've been kind of getting better and better yeah. at it, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah, like yeah. we're making big improvements in our pipeline, you know, thanks to everyone involved, like Praveen and of course, and Leo and everyone like yeah. uh, Siwon, yeah. our new VFX artist. And uh, like, I, I, I can say that now we have like concepts for like, you know, two updates in advance, mm. you know? Yeah. So we're pretty uh, far ahead, mm -hmm. uh, I can say. Yeah, no, that's it's great. Which is great for our, you know, mental health. It's good for <laughs> us. <laughs> it's like, this yeah. <laughs> good shoulder tap uh yeah. should we speed run the last six brawlers so then we can get to the sneak peek six. <laughs> yeah in sneak peek and then it goes to the questions okay okay so the next ones are rt and willow it's like what are the refer reference for for those rt yeah we have this info hub in, mm. in the park and i was thinking about create something a bit closer to lore, the lore mm. that we've been yeah. developing that people don't know yet, but it's cooking. It's cooking <laughs> for a year. <laughs> so let the cook. Let, let her, her cook. cook. Yeah, let, let her cook. cook. I'm it's there. <laughs> There's something being cooked. Wait, let so her cook. So I was thinking about like information, those theories, like uh, hidden cameras, secret stuff, and information in general. And uh, the RT idea came with this like, sound and vision like somebody that can mm. be like looking vhs <laughs> yeah vhs <laughs> that was a lie I, I don't know if i mentioned that i love old stuff yeah like 90s and 70s garbage and old stuff garbage yeah. old stuff old garbage old technology <laughs> that's my job and i also w really wanted to do something like uh this vintage device with a cassette player and he's this kind of spy that when separated like the head is just like I don't know, spying people and collecting images and keep an eye on everybody. And the body part, it's supposed to be more like the heart. So while he's recording all the other brawlers, he can also interact with them and create some kind of connection. So, but when he is all together, like it's body and head together, he has this like, um, not mixed feelings, but like this, this clashing. struggle, clashing yeah. with yeah, yeah, yeah. like, should I be the... I don't know. Should I rat okay. on this brawler? Yeah, or like, I don't know, Split stick with them. Yeah. That or like internal conflict? Yeah, or yeah internal more conflict. like yeah. Intern yeah. Co internal yeah. conflict with that. And Willow, it's, uh, <laughs> I really like Willow. Yeah, she's Willow, cool. it's heavily inspired by, um, what's her name? Is it the Farpuff Goes? No, is it Farpuff Goes feeling? No, 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 no. Oh. Willow, no, actually, when you mentioned it, like, yeah, I can see it. <laughs> 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 Willow, it's from I. What's her name? Dietz. From where? Lydia. Lydia. Dietz ah, yeah, from Beetlejuice. Yeah, Juice. yeah. yeah. Uh, I was sketching. Uh, I, I had like a mood board with other because we. I, I wanted to make the swamp area a bit different. At first, we had this idea about the like a movie yeah. driving stuff. But then I thought that would be interesting to make transform the swamp and this like love to know which would be funny because the swamp is not a place to <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. feel the love to know. And she would have like this lagoon creature vibes mixed with this, a bit of Morticia Adams with this creep feeling, creep mm -hmm. uh, way of see love and like yeah, cute yeah. stuff. And Lydia did also. And she has this weird way of mind control because the, the the idea about Willow is that she thinks that love is f***ing creep. Like, people, <laughs> it's, it, it, they just became like zombies. It's easy to manipulate. They're, it, it's very f***ing creep. And she would like to take advantage on that. So being like this uh, lagoon creature, like, they, it's almost like the love tuner is a trap to attract people there and to kill them. Like, this kind of cute, poisonous thing. I think there's some overlapping in those concepts. So that's... Mm -hmm. That's why very romantic brawler, <laughs> very cute. <laughs> and uh, next ones are from the Blink update. Who are they? It's Hank. It's now. No, it's no. Not. 
It's no, Hank. Maisie. Maisie. Maisie and Hank. Maisie and Hank. Yeah. yeah. Maisie. We always talk about Turbo Theater. Yeah. <laughs> Maisie is the final, like, real hero for this trio. I had a bunch of, like, cool references. But she... I, I'm happy with her result because it was a bit far from what I was planning. But I think that she looks more badass and mm. more unique yeah. from the references. I think with Fang and Buster, we can we can see more clearly like where they are coming from but Maisie has kind of her own shine mm -hmm. and the name is also yours I mean, yeah the, ma the name, name is amazing also Ricardo's, no, Ricardo's points oh, yeah. <laughs> because it's always like okay I'm thinking about this here. what do you think and then Ricardo does this her name is corn <laughs> corn <laughs> corny yeah. corny yeah I was thinking about something to yeah. that but then Maisie kind of yeah sold the thing and she's like the real badass hero like she works at the turbo, turbo theater as this like safety agent so she can also save yeah. people and take care of the boys and be like a little bit more responsible not yeah. that responsible because <laughs> she also enjoys like uh -huh. to i don't know get into trouble with them but in and hank hank i really love hank's lines <laughs> and his voice voice actor uh, yeah yeah we we did the voice that we were listening to the actors and as soon as he started to scream, I was like, yes, this guy is perfect. <laughs> Hank is this like, sur he was heavily in inspired by- Ron mm, Swanson. Yeah. Ron Swanson, of course. Forrest Gump. Yeah, uh, the yeah. Lieutenant. Yeah. Lieutenant uh, Dan. 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 Yeah. Dan. yeah, Lieutenant Dan, because like this depressive vibe. <laughs> And he is this like war hero vibes because mm -hmm. he 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 was in this kitchen ready to be cooked, but he <laughs> managed to escape and survive. Yeah. And he the reason why he's hidden right now in the paint bro is like he found in this uh, again the over the, the the concept of the paint bro being this place of like battle and fight and war. It's mm -hmm. also the reasons why he came to this place. Like he seen himself as a mm -hmm. some kind of war survivor hero, and he's now there. He found this tank, this fish tank, and transforming a tank. And and he's also uh, kind of checking if maybe Seal is being like well treated by because I I think he he has this vibe of like protector of like yeah it's, it's his team how do they call like these soldiers or whatever when they have like a platoon or something yeah 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 platoon. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, uh, I think yeah more this, this camaraderie yeah. Yeah, yeah 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 but i really really like him i was super happy it was also painful design right i was sketching like in took a while it took, yeah, a while, it right? took a while because everything was ended up being some kind of ah, red. Yeah. He had a, a eye patch and then removed yeah. the eye patch and then he had a shirt and then removed the shirt. Oh, but also the tank. Jeez. Also the it tank. It was a crab yeah. at some it point. It was something yeah. close to a crab, but I was never happy, mm -hmm. never happy. I was really in pain. Like, <laughs> Ricardo knows because I was complaining every day. He Are had you? like a like a, a spray can at the back, right? I think. Yeah, a sp yeah. huge spray can. It was kind of cool. Was I was cool. trying to... you weren't to happy, it's true. Yeah. yeah. I wasn't feeling it, but then I, I made this, because the thing about, it, it's a, his name is supposed to be Lieutenant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lieutenant. Mm. It's his title now. Yeah. It's, yeah, yeah. It's just, yeah, it's just the title. But then I was with this pun in my mind, and then the fish tank came. It's like, fish tank, fish tank can be just a thing. <laughs> <laughs> and then, you know, when it's stupid and obvious, yeah, but yeah, yeah. It, you never thought about that, and then I start to sketch and was like, uh, almost like Bonnie, like two days mm. sketching. Oh, okay, we got That's it. it. We, we have something here. Mm -hmm. I was actually like, I was uh, uh, actually on paternity leave during that period. Yeah. So like, I'm actually curious to poor, learn like, poor, poor what's actually the basic, <laughs> this basic attack? Was that like from the the initial concepts already? Like, or did that come uh, later? Well, that was it with Adrian. So like, yeah, he was well, helping with Adrian the and Antti was helping more that, but it took a while until we, we start this. Because the, the thing is that we had this, crab kind of an armor mm. idea and but i wasn't feeling it so i wasn't really concerned about like the mechanic in that point because i, I didn't want like this to me the the crab idea would be something really close to thick mm. yeah because thick yeah. is also inspired by that so we yeah. have to go far from that thing so yeah. i was i wasn't considering anything in that direction until have like a strong idea with a, a different concept where we could explore, like the bubbles mm -hmm. and the two missiles that, that he has on the side, 
I think this to me it's also it's also important like how everything comes from the brawler idea because the it's also about the concepts that that idea holds like for example with Gus it's everything about balloons and ghosts and this kind of stuff so the balloons they they they, they kind of represent like spirits ghosts so this can uh, can provide more ideas about how those ghosts will interact and everything else mm -hmm. so if we have one idea about I don't know talkative orange but this <laughs> is not bringing anything interesting for yeah, the yeah, mechanics yeah. uh like my brain just don't don't go i don't know it, to me was that a reference to, to the youtube channel <laughs> the annoying, annoying orange <laughs> yeah my the annoying orange probably. was actually a reference for the chair like ryan chair oh, and amazing adrian oh. table oh, on the brow talk whoa. <laughs> maybe yeah my brain is just yeah. like searching for reference <laughs> Yeah. But yeah, that's why uh, I struggle a lot because it was like almost two weeks without having one idea with enough material mm -hmm. to talk about it. Because even when we when we start to talk and I have like mood board ideas, concepts, uh, the reason why we discard some stuff and still use others is because like the concept allows like with this bro. Let's not talk about the next bro, but with this bro, <laughs> we have one direction with uh one idea with different directions like the brawler that we're gonna do now is still on this range still related to that but we just pick one of those ideas to go for it mm -hmm. and and some that's why sometimes uh, i also check with myself if i have a strong idea if this is giving me more ideas for gadgets mm -hmm. for ultimates for different kinds of mechanics not just one one direction mm -hmm. like, it would be a fisherman and everything that i have in mind is just fishing i think that's why also the uh, a twist on top of idea is also important yeah. because like for example the fisherman okay we have the fishing thing but if he's a fisherman obsessed about I don't know, feathers so he flies <laughs> now we have something <laughs> that we can play with yeah. and and it can be more different we can add something something else I know that it's painful. <laughs> I know we know that sometimes it's like I, I, sometimes I'm just creating more problems for no, myself. No pain, no yeah. gain for me. Yeah, definitely. but no pain. It is definitely true that sometimes you call me up like just to show me a concept and talk about it, and I'm like, it looks awesome, but you're not happy with it. <laughs> just so pain. you just yeah. I'm a fraud, you know, make it harder. <laughs> I'm a fraud. Make it harder for yourself, but then it just kind of like suddenly clicks and you cha completely change the design and you're like, okay, I'm going to do this. Mm. Yeah. You're happy about it. So everyone is happy if you're happy. And then the last ones are those two lovely mm -hmm. bars there, Cordelius, Cordelius and uh, Doug. Doug. Doug was the easiest <laughs> model I've ever done. <laughs> <Yeah>. mm -hmm. <laughs> so fast, like you did in two days. Days. Probably something like that, but yeah. I just did the high poly, yeah, yeah. like a it was so cute. an outsourcer that I work with did the 2D, the sorry, the low poly, yeah, uh, Pauline. Cordelius, I wasn't sure about those colors, but mm. again, inspired by Skeletor, he man, just new curtains. <laughs> 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 yeah, but I really like the the result, and this this loading screen is just amazing. Yeah, I really love to see brawl stuff on 2D. What is the reference for dog? Like this, is that dog. I, I always had in mind that for bus would be nice and ah, a second yeah, yeah, Dino, yeah. but yeah. I like the the thing that bus, at least what I know so far, mm. <laughs> is it's not like a specific type of dinosaur, mm. yeah, kind of gen like yeah, this non existent dinosaur. Nintendo dinosaur, yeah, <laughs> Yoshi, Yoshi. yeah, <laughs> yeah. And <laughs> I did the same for it for him. It's like, okay, let's just put this weird hair in. Like, there's a, a dinosaur that looks like this, but kind of made up. And the hot dog design, like, he kind of looks like a hot dog himself. Mm -hmm. So it was easy. It was, I think, when you have, like, a strong joke, that's yeah. my theory. When you mm -hmm. have a strong joke, a good joke, you have a good idea. And also on the mechanic side, I think, like, we had had already and talked, like, for a long, long time about, like, revive. And uh, as you know, like, there already, we had, like, something similar in the game in the past as a star power too so just like just kind of fit directly there like right in with this like si lifesaver pool geo like and then yeah i think it did come quite well together like we, we were doing something at the same time with the icon for andrews was working on the oh icon. the yeah the, the hot, dog. hot dog 
just yeah, his yeah. asset that heals you the health pack maybe. yeah the health pack but he was working before seeing anything about the brawler and it was a it no no was it a was completely planned. planned it was planned yeah. it was planned don't ruin the magic it was planned it was planned. <laughs> totally <laughs> but it was Genius. so <laughs> we plan everything yeah exactly we're exactly we're planned that's uh. the synergy of the art team <laughs> you know you're really connected and thanks Derek Laufman for this beautiful art yeah, shout out beautiful shout out Beautiful. Now, do you want to give a sneak peek? Sneak peek? Well, what? Did we agree on anything? <laughs> It's a sneak peek on mental health. What? <laughs> <laughs> sneak peek. How are you doing this week after update. the update? <laughs> so I guess we can go what with uh, Ricardo uh, said before. So okay. we are releasing a new brawler that will complete a trio, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and the other one it's also from uh, existing, existing trio. trio. Yes, that's uh, that's it. Is that Pack it? Pack your bags. <laughs> yeah, Something else. That, that's all. <laughs> that's all I can share. I the know. new brawler is a new brawler. <laughs> <laughs> Never saw him before. <laughs> yeah, I think that's all you can share. But I don't know if we start to share something extra can yeah. bump yeah. into why ruin the maybe surprise? lore. Maybe there's something to do with lore. Mm, maybe not. Maybe. Wait, wait oh. not in the next update. So, like <laughs> but there's something related with lore. But not in the next update. There's something related with Lar in the next update. Oh, but there's oh, always no, something. We have to related. communicate with our <laughs> eyes here. Yeah. I think uh, yeah. Slightly, slightly. This is semantics, right? Like, <laughs> yeah. what is and what is it, Lar? Yeah, 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 yeah. What is yeah? What is Lar? Yeah, what is Lar? What is love? What is Lar? <laughs> Maybe we can what review. We can review one brawler that is getting a skin. Who is a? Uh, mm. Oh, mm. Stu. Stu. Oh, oh. wow. Yeah. I know the community ah, wants. Yeah, so. yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, great school. It's an amazing, yeah, amazing it's, skin. It's amazing I think. Skin. Yeah, yeah. I think it's. Yeah, amazing. yeah, yeah. I'm very. Uh, now we are setting the expectation super well, high, and then they're like, "Ah, oh, <laughs> it's pretty cool." It could happen. Like I've been surprised in the past. Mm. You know, like that we're so proud of a skin, and then the community is like, "Just <laughs> don't get it." <laughs> Sucks. In, in the other way around, like something that we yeah, yeah we recall or someone like, "Oh my god, this is amazing!" Like Edgar oh, no. uh, Nightwing, I think that also, Nightwing uh, or Doctor Edgar. Like Bird. That yeah. Doctor Edgar, like it was shocking that everyone liked it. Uh, we were like, yeah, you know, ah, but it's pretty cool. It's, it's, pretty it's cool. cool. It's cool. It's badass. Yeah. But no one was that happy when we were working on it. No, just <laughs> Frank was. His. Oh, what? but that was oh, a weird was suggesting a German name for yeah. Doctor. Yeah. No, no, no. Like he this. said that it reminded him too much of Doctor Ot Otker. Otker. Ah. You know this brand. Yeah. So he didn't want it to be Doctor. So we were yeah. thinking of like you know Edgar M D. Yeah. Whatever, like or Edgar or Professor Edgar. Edgar. Wasn't working. This wasn't working. It would be different. <laughs> What's MD? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Edgar MD would be. You had to explain anyway. me that afterwards. Yeah. After uh. Sneak peek is done. Then let's go to the questions. questions. So. What is our Drum favorite roll. color? I hope those kind of questions. I, I know. I know what's your yeah. like least favorite color? Blue. blue. Fernanda hates blue I for some like reason. Blue. I don't know. Oh no! So like our everything blue and gold in the game. Are being removed. Yeah, the all of our skins are blue. <laughs> yeah. Just purple. Um, so uh, Nicholas is asking if there is a, a brawler or like a mechanic that was polarizing within the thing, and then we decided to ship anyway, or if there is one that we never shipped. Was there a brawler that we never shipped? I think it's like we're so pressing on the time. <laughs> yeah. Go. <laughs> Always. You have to find like, and I guess we rather than not cheap the the brawler usually we are flexible enough to mm. change yeah. it. And there's definitely brawlers we have like changed I think quite a lot. But the first thing brawler that didn't come to my mind I think was like before my time. But what I have heard is about Amber. Amber. Ah. So it was what controversial? Yeah. I don't remember that. Mm. I remember people people saying it's not very. Fun. Yeah, because they were concerned with the that because you're just so auto aiming. Yeah, mm. kind of, you know. But I don't remember. I remember being told similarly that BB was very close to being axed. Oh, BB! I saved BB. You did? Uh, yeah. Was it you? Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> so what was so controversial? Because she's so cool, right? Like, because uh, the first design is that was she's knocking back with every hit, mm. and then it was like, oh, she's too strong, or like you always push the enemy away. So mm -hmm. like, it, it either like it's too strong, like in a wall, or like you're always pushing the enemy away. So did then you I come up with the, the bar? Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, and the, yeah. And then the, I was thinking of Mega Man charging and mm, um, that's really cool. And it was funny because I think it was like my first month in the company, and like 
being a community manager, suggesting something to the game designer, Built and, and then he accepts. Yeah, and he accepts. Like, yeah, let's try. And, then, <laughs> and it works. Yeah. It works really well. Yeah, yeah I like Bimbi. Nice. Mm -hmm. uh, but what was the question? <laughs> like the polarizing. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, I I don't remember. Like, and even it's always like that. When we are not feeling it, we keep iterating until yeah. find a, a better direction. It's never something that. I remember or that not really Cordelius was really like kind of you know yeah, uh, outside of the box. It yeah, felt really uh, because we were scared with the yeah. development. Yeah. Also, yeah. Uh, Willow was super challenging. Oh uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was fun. The fun story, not so fun for some, it was because it was your game. paternity leave yeah. and like we have those two super complex mechanics yeah, for yeah, NT yeah. and Adrian working with. Yeah, it's almost like challenge. We have Willow bugs till the day. Do this day. Well. <laughs> it's just as a nice reminder. <laughs> yeah, but like, yeah, because like Willow is super complex because for every brawler she can break, like, because every brawler is a new interaction, right? Mm -hmm. So it's a, it's a lease that keeps on going. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. yeah. Or two brawlers to to break with. <laughs> yeah, but I think there is no brawler we we actually killed, right? Maybe we postpone or. Yeah, Buster was something like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah maybe we postponed it. Yeah, it, and but change I think the, means the mechanics like the. Uh, yeah. yeah. Mm. But I guess it's exactly like kind of like a separate thing. Like we might, like exactly like here, like sometimes not go yet forward with some mechanics. Yeah. And then we change it. And sometimes with the art concept too, it might be that yeah. we put it to back burner and we come back to it. But I would not say like we necessarily yeah. Like yeah. axe it. Like Sam, like when we had this idea, what was the brawler that you came up with? Uh, Gus? No. Like the, um, oh, the X thrower, X yeah. idea mm. that we yeah. have to change. There's uh, that's that. This is something that is really good about the process because you never waste anything. Like okay, mm. if this yeah. not fitting this concept right now, we can always come back and think about this idea in a different way and make it work. Mm -hmm. So there's never wasted time or ideas. Like you can always like use in this backlog. Mm. Yeah. So I think uh, like Eve actually like also like the walking on water. I think there was quite a lot of like that it would be too broken or true. And the the um, hatchlings idea was also mm. kind of we, oh, we yeah. went through the yeah. Yeah. yeah, but I think we wanted a hover brawler for a while. Mm. Yeah, mm. I think it was in the mm -hmm. backlog for a long time. Um, question from Lauro or um, compatriota. Lauro. Brasileiro. Grande Lauro. <laughs> uh, I, I, I'll have to do a translation on the fly here. Yeah. Uh, he said, like, hello, Ricardo and Fernanda. I would like to know, like, a personal advice, uh, because he's an artist as well. He's a fun artist. Mm. And he would like to take it to a professional level, like uh, portfolio tips or how to make uh, uh, um, concept art a bit more organized, uh, some techniques, I don't know. Anything that you can share for a, with a fun yeah. artist that wants to become pro. Mm, but he wants to work as a concept artist. That I would say so, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. He didn't specify what kind of art he wants to work mm, with. Yeah, because I think if, you, if he's doing fun arts, like if he likes to create his own ideas, I think it's good to think as a concept artist, as a like a problem solver mm. kind of thing. Like you are a concept designer. I think that would be a, a term more appropriate for that because you, your job is basically like what we do. We solve uh, mechanics using creative creative ideas for that. So if you're aiming to get in this field, I think it's, it's I don't know, my personal advice would be like be curious, uh, curious about almost everything. I think it's like a kind of a vague mm -hmm. subject. But to me, this was kind of a life changing when I start to understand that literally anything can be twisted in something else. Mm -hmm. And even like stuff that I don't love at first, like subject or words or I don't know, genre of mm -hmm. whatever, I can always find a way to make it interesting for myself and to connect this with my personal taste. And I also think that because like once you understand how to solve those problems, it's important to find your own voice. So your own voice is like 
basically just digging in what made you 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 know your sense of humor your references like what kind of stories you would like to tell what kind of universe excites you because like in this in this career you we will have to find ways to find energy and excitement all the time to do your best in your job and i i say that when i joined brawl and to me it was a huge uh uh red flag uh, red flag <laughs> good <laughs> green flag, <Yeah>. flag <laughs> because when i was doing my test i was having so much fun and i felt so free to put everything mm -hmm. that i like it on my character that at the end is still what i'm doing until today so if you are applying for a job that you're not really uh feeling confident this is not really what i want to do i think it's it's best since he's just preparing yeah. like he's in the beginning i think it's important to put a lot of effort time and 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 discipline and learning but also paying attention about what excites you because you can al always find like inspiration and energy to keep going from that and even developing your skills yeah. based on what you you trust i think that would be a general because it's so hard to give yeah, advice yeah, yeah. but ricardo say something what yeah clever i agree <laughs> with, well, i agree with fernando 100 like just do whatever you think is fun but also like just to be like a bit more practical i think you you can find an artist who like works at the company that you'd like to work at mm. and like compare yourself like you'll be really honest like for example if, if it's supercell like you need to use fernanda as your bar you know like you're actually competing with her basically on a practical level and just be honest with yourself and improve every day you know work on it and only in stuff you actually like doing of course and like of course be focused you know like if it's concept art you want to do do concept art not mm -hmm. don't do fan art don't do illustration mm -hmm. you know solve problems like fernanda said and also this is like uh, i think it's very important i see people just you know they're fresh out of school and they apply to Supercell and they just keep applying to Supercell. Yeah. You know, first get, like, you need experience, okay? Yeah. Like, apply to, uh, to like, there are tons of startups. Finland has a lot of startups, for example, mm. but there's everywhere, like, on Earth. Uh, apply to a startup. That's how I learned as well. And you are you think you know stuff, you don't know anything. Yeah. Like, this is, this life, is like trial by fire. <laughs> yeah. You don't know anything. <laughs> you don't know anything. Like, we don't know anything. Yeah. You know? It's yeah. like, we're always learning, so. Yeah. But that's the thing, like in a startup, you'll get to wear tons of hats. You know, you have to mm -hmm. basically just help out in whichever way you, ca you can and you'll develop your your own like style, you know. Mm -hmm. That's very, very important, yeah, your own it, voice. And uh, I'll, I will put on top of that, like love the process. Mm. Because most of the time, <laughs> like even right now on Brawl, most of the time you're gonna be like, I don't know, absorbed in process yeah, yeah if you really enjoy is like the daily life like the discussions yeah, giving feedback, like thinking giving about feedback that. thinking like if you really are engaged during the process this is the best part because when when once the, the work is done like it's done like yeah. people are enjoying playing <laughs> <Next>. doing whatever <laughs> and you're gonna be worried about the next step yeah so if it, this is it's a it's a more wise way to think yeah. if i'm really liking like this process of growing like even for example when when he to give this amazing tip about like apply for different jobs and yeah. and it start like even really trying to grow in your career it doesn't matter where you start because you're always gonna le learn something mm -hmm. on every stage like for me for example i came from advertising animation like uh, i worked in a bunch of stuff uh, with a bunch of kind of the different types of art directors so i was always gathering experience from those areas until get to this point so it's not like you are fresh from school and then yeah. you want to work with games like you need life experience and and, and and you lead need to learn how to work with people yeah y and all of that is based on process. Like it's the daily, like not boring, but for some people boring stuff, but you have to be passionate in, in that path. Mm -hmm. So you have to love the process. Yeah, and I, I feel like that any work, like it not, doesn't need to be art specific. I think 90% is communication. Like it's you communicating with another person, right? Yes. And I think like a lot of people think it's like, yeah, I'm just gonna do my art here and then I will profit or like it's going to work. Yeah. Like I think like uh, to have like the um, maturity to be a professional person, uh, I think it uh, goes a long way. So maybe you can even be a mediocre artist, <laughs> but if you are really professional, you can uh, oh, overcome. Interest, interest yeah. is filled with yeah. people like that. Yeah. They're 
you know, maybe they're not amazing artists, but yeah. they're like nice to work with and yeah. like uh, good communicators. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they have sometimes good ideas. You know. Yeah. It's yeah, that's definitely like it's it's basically like a required there on top. So it's like you, it's not enough that you're only like good yeah, artist, yeah, but yeah. Yeah, yeah. you need to have this good collaboration skills and and team working skills, and those sometimes might be hard to gain by just by yourself right so exactly. that's why you need the, the work experience yeah. yeah to get to work in the teams and also like to be become more flexible as a non-artist like uh i can just imagine like how it might <laughs> fe feel like like when you have like some kind of design that is really you and you're happy with that and then yeah then outside of the team somebody like yeah. me comes for example say like well now i think this problem is what if a melee one, weapon what if yeah. you had an yeah. axe yeah <laughs> put an axe here yeah it completely ruins your like yeah, uh, concepts yeah. and, and you need to be uh, like yeah. adaptive and flexible and and, mm -hmm. and also with other styles like coming to an existing project you might not be able to just develop your own style you need to adapt to other artist styles yeah. and so on and working in a team with like 30 people and like these live games it's yeah. it's not you know it's not trivial like yeah. you need to pick up these skills yeah you know get experience in smaller yeah bend on your idea and like do what's yeah. best and, mm -hmm. and that and that's the thing like it's it's the teamwork that we yeah. are doing like even oh i'm creating this brawler but this brawler is it's it, the result it's part of the the teamwork so that's why like if i'm able to be flexible to discuss ideas like i'm not creating this by myself and yeah. even being able to adjust the stuff when i when i have a concept that ricardo has to model he will adjust and change stuff and i trust that it's for the best mm -hmm. the better so like this because some some artists they have this thing about okay i'm gonna be the best working on my craft the whole mm. life and one day i will just apply and it's not like that yeah. it doesn't matter if you're amazing in your craft and amazing with skills and everything but uh, if you put if we, we have to work with you in a in a big project it's impossible to get your best yeah. with people you cannot work with anyone so it's like it's good for you guys yeah. <laughs> it's it's good for you but as a career i think it's it's not the best way to yeah and it's also like if you want to work in games or like uh, live games you are doing your art for someone, right? You are not doing for yourself. Like you're kind of like selling a product or like creating a product to to be exciting for uh, mm -hmm. audience. Mm -hmm. So sometimes it's not even like what you want. Of course, like you have a vision of like what you think is good and what you think is cool. Mm -hmm. But I think like we do design uh, our art to the community as well. So like uh, it's yeah. it's not like you just like being in your room like doing whatever you want and uh, yeah it becomes it, bigger than any of us right yeah like, yeah yeah if you leave the company this, the company still sells the yeah. characters you've made you yeah, know, yeah, so. yeah. Uh, another question from Matt Runner uh, what are the designs of brawlers or skins that took some of, some time to develop or were complicated to do in game either due to their design mechanics or other details like brawlers you can speak mm. to that maybe which was the hardest maybe pick like one yeah. hard brother one hard skin yeah mm. Mm. yeah that's a good good question because like i think with each brawler we want to bring something new to the game the brawler needs to have like also on gameplay perspective like their their place to to shine and then to bring something new and interesting um so by definition like they will always have something new uh and that would be like difficult or would require some development effort there. Uh, but I guess one mentioned here, maybe from the latest one, like uh, uh, like Cordelius was definitely like something that required more mm. work. Uh, uh, like, but I, I'm not sure, like, was it? I think was Willow it? was the hardest Willow, brother yeah. we Willow. ever created because she's still <laughs> being Looks developed. It's yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <That's laughs> sure. a work, on, work in progress. Yeah, and the, her her yeah. skill uh, mechanics keep creeping up the, mm. the more really yeah we have like generally tried when doing like that's one thing we need to take in in the count like games like this that have tons of brawlers we would not want to like we try to avoid introducing mechanics that basically would uh, like affect all the other yeah. brawlers yeah. directly like in in this case of like willow like sometimes we decide that the mechanic is exciting enough that we want to do it but if we can find a way of doing it like somehow indirectly so that whenever we release a new brawler we will not need to keep in mind that that oh, how will it work with this specific brawler 
that preferred. Right. Um, but and funnily enough, like Willow wasn't like on the design visual design side. It kind of came out very quickly. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. yeah. It wasn't, it wasn't, uh, it wasn't <laughs> the hardest, <laughs> definitely. Right. No, I even was like sketching her environment when mm. I was doing mm. her. Like I, I had a clear vision, but yeah. Do you have ice skiing in mind? I was thinking about Surge. Uh, yeah, Surge is always, compl always complicated. Uh, well, Surge is hard, especially from like the an animation standpoint. Yeah. There's a lot of, you know, parts to it. And also like when you're concepting, you need to think about all the transformations, right? So it is pretty challenging for sure. But... Uh, specific examples of skins. I think that Meg truck ah. driver was a nightmare. <laughs> it's, a, it's a massive <laughs> truck. Let's, let's go there. Let's yeah. expose traumatized. our fight. <laughs> no, no, no. We just like, it was hard to, for me, of course, it's my, it's my, yeah. my shortcomings that, that I'm talking about. Like, uh, Fernanda had this clear sense of direction for the update and it was really hard for me to kind of like, mm -hmm. you know, get it, I guess. So, but in the end, I guess it worked. It like, was a stunt show. Yeah, Sancho. yeah, Sancho. Sancho was really hard, I think, yeah. as a theme. It's very neat. Yeah, so very specific. exactly, stunts. Yeah, oh. yeah, yeah. I remember that was a pretty hard one, but other than that, I think skins are pretty, mm. you know, they're always tough. Ah, actually, oh. funny funny thing, like 29 gem skins, those are, ah, because in general, yeah. they're really hard. Those are the hard ones. It's really crazy. Like, yeah, they're the cheapest, of course, as anyone, everyone knows, but from the concept standpoint it's really hard to get because we we have a high bar yeah we always try to make them look you know have some kind of funny twist to them yeah, or yeah. like a theme at least sometimes you know we do better than others i guess some are really cool I, uh, bonnie unicorn oh, for yeah example, was so awesome yeah <laughs> but um but the like shark tank hank yeah that one <clears throat> some just like really click mm -hmm. but they're actually a lot of work from like implementation standpoint for some reason they always make trouble for us it's really <laughs> tricky i don't know i kind of hate the 29 gems <laughs> <laughs> they're I so hard so please yeah. buy them so then you can yeah please make them so worse for us <laughs> <laughs> where is the catching uh. <laughs> <laughs> wow <laughs> amazing uh. um Oh, this guy made like 11 questions. I would just answer Whoa. some. Mm. Uh, from oh, 11 from one person? <laughs> this is like engaged. a cop. I would just read Checking some. For something. <laughs> <laughs> it's from Why? Owen. Um, Wilson. No. Mm, of course. <laughs> uh, he's asking like if some old brothers will have a remodel. I don't think we have anything. Actually. Oh, okay. Do you well, want to? Oh, it's a spoiler, actually. Well, Praveen kind of took the initiative to not remodel, but revamp okay. some yeah. of the older brothers. Okay, that's was cool, because it was actually his question. He, he he specifically mentioned barley. Oh, we, we talked sure about, about barley. Yeah? Okay. This week. okay, okay. Yeah, that's yeah. nice. It's on the list. Okay, mm. okay. Coming. I yeah. don't know when. <laughs> Why the artists don't show their skin concept arts very often? Uh, why? That's a question. Because <laughs> they're working. Because <laughs> I'm exactly. working. <laughs> Great answer. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I'm really... Uh, I'm really <laughs> far from social media since I joined. I, I think I just posted Janet and Bonnie, but it, it's not it's not a joke. It's because I'm working and mm. it, there's always like the artist. You guys will get it. It's like okay, if I have to post, I, I will try to tweak mm. something and organize and do something. And the, to not get there is like okay, one day like when I organize my portfolio, <laughs> maybe I can do like a so art. Two thousand and fifteen. Yeah, I guess yeah. like yeah. because there's like a quite long delay before the brawler would be like released and you could actually like yeah. share the original concept true, so true. it might be many many months mm. like half a year it gets yeah. cold you know before yeah. so then you, then you have new things to think about in mind and yeah and then there's this snowball like yeah. it, it's it's bad but uh, it's a lot of <laughs> Yeah, but that's like the most requested thing, right? Fernanda, yeah. please post your concepts. Seriously. Yeah. We are solving yeah. with this video. This yeah, video this video yeah. have a summary. Everything. Yeah, oh. we're going to have some, some stuff. <laughs> Jesus, now I have to <laughs> do something. <laughs> oh, God. Um, how Fernanda reacted to criticism or feedback from the community, from the brothers you made? Terribly. I'm just Terribly. <laughs> cried for Each five cried. days. Cardo will be yeah. always the only person yes. who knows how I react. <laughs> <laughs> but to be like completely honest, I don't check. I yeah, never check it, Twitter. Right? Yeah. Like I usually check stuff when Frank or Ricardo yeah. share with me. And then I go on Twitter like once a month <laughs> and like stay for a few hours, check some stuff, like some... Get weird your, stuff. Your humanity is I, yeah, I, yeah, I think that's very healthy and, and I... <laughs> I recommend, I encourage everyone <laughs> doing the same. Says the community. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. no, but I, that's really true. Like, I, I never check those things. I, I don't know. To me, it's like, 
the people are so crazy on the internet and passionate yeah, about yeah. stuff that with the same passion that they are saying you're amazing you're yeah. a diva they will say you're <laughs> trash or garbage on the yeah. next day yeah so you can never really i don't know measure your self-esteem or value yeah. by that so. but i'm gonna tell you like i'm very you know i'm always online and i check like these i mean different games subreddits and stuff and Brawl Stars has some of the, like the most wholesome communities I've ever seen, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, it's it's insane. Like, yeah, it's insane. A lot of art. Very, very yeah. cool. Like, it, that's true. Like, that's true. It's insane. Like, insane yeah. the amount of good stuff that I saw. I mostly just saw good stuff. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. We yeah. want what's best for our yeah. community, you know. Yeah. So yeah. it's cool and that I, they understand. I think that's like something that sometimes might get missed, or like, I I also spend like quite a lot of time there, uh, like listening to the community, getting like awesome ideas from there and uh, and just overall like feeling, feeling what the vibe is and what the community will want. And I think everybody in, in Brawl Stars team, like really we want to make the best game for the community and we are all really passionate about the game. Mm -hmm. And sometimes that might get like a bit like lost, like in our daily work, we don't think about this, like only few people of us would kind of think about the business side or the product like on a daily basis most of us like fernanda for example like you just want to make the most awesome concept i want to make the most awesome mechanics we work on that yeah. and and don't necessarily think about the like product business side, side at all yeah. and uh, so so the like thing that maybe gets me the most in, in the community post or we're going to reading those it's like when there's something like oh they did this because of some like they want to drain us and, yeah, and they, yeah, yeah. they made this <laughs> roller to like uh op just because yeah. you know they want the, us to pay or right. get it but yeah but that's mini very minimal right like I yeah feel like is. at least yeah i think most of it's more healthy yeah i think most of the people are reasonable and mm -hmm. i feel that they're more good <laughs> intentioned yeah, yeah. people than uh, you yeah, i wonder yeah. if like twitter is catering for me like with the algorithm only showing <laughs> me only. wholesome stuff. Yeah, because I saw like Dev, you know, Dev, he posted something yeah, like... Yeah, my Twitter is just violence. Okay, yeah. so you only get the bad stuff. Just violence. You know, Dev, he posted like, oh, yeah. you know, I've been seeing a lot of bad things about... And yeah. I was like, what? What bad but things? I, I, think, always, okay. I think the artists are like in groups that are sometimes uh, uh, a bit toxic. toxic. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. So and even I'm sheltered from that. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, but I have one thing to say if you have something against me on my way. <laughs> Fight me in real <laughs> life, you know? Do, do it bad. I'm not going to go on Twitter <laughs> to, I don't know, discuss with you yeah. with text. No, just fight me. Good. Uh, just like I will skip to his 11th <laughs> question. Uh, someday you show, uh, would, would you someday show uh, discarded skins from the updates? Um, I think we could show some, but most of the, we don't really have discarded skins. We just uh, save them. A backlog. A backlog. Yeah. <laughs> it's called Seriously. backlog. Yeah. It's called backlog. We, we don't throw anything. We don't throw yeah. anything away. We might kind of use it some, even if it's not in its current form, we can you know, but I think like, recycle uh, it. Even if it's an uh, interesting thing to share, what I don't like about it is because the thing that is not released is always better. Right. So like mm -hmm. if we show something, oh, this is like the first concept, like, oh, why didn't you release this one? It's way yeah. better. Like, yeah. No they matter what happens. Yeah, Even yeah. if it's just a change of color. <laughs> yeah. It's like people, so, you know, retweet and say, yeah. quote tweet it and say, yeah. look at this stupid guy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> this version was better than that one. They actually did that to yeah. me. And I was like, oh, come on. <laughs> they did that to you. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this idiot, oh you know? My God. <laughs> he picked that over there. Then you reply, thank you for the oh, love. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> I'm okay with that. Yes. It's part of the internet, you know? Yeah. Um, <clears throat> Lucky84, uh, how do you determine which brawler gets a new skin for each update? I guess for Ricardo. Well, we've been actually like discussing this a lot lately with the help of uh, V, who's one of our designers. Right? Yeah, he's, he's, he's been, been very like yeah. proactive in helping the, like, the art team. Uh, get better at like re ma making our like priorities straight mm -hmm. getting mm -hmm. our priorities straight so, so it is kind of like a combination of i'm not even sure if we data can. we use um. some data to check like uh, uh brawler popularity it's yeah. not super it's kind of like this complex thing uh that we get from our uh, data scientists and and yeah we do use that as priority but it's not the only the only yeah. metric we use we only also check 
uh, brawlers that have been in need of a skin for a long time. Mm -hmm. And when it's sometimes it's just it just doesn't click. You know, we try, we explore ideas for this brawler yeah. because, for example, Nani. You know, we've been trying for a while, and we're just not exci as excited and because we have is a god, yeah, godlike. Well, or that uh, <laughs> Easter skin, <Yeah. laughs> the pink pink na Nani. Yeah. But that it's it's true. It's like we try a bunch of ideas for these brawlers, and we have a limited number of slots. So we need to pick the best, only the best. Yeah. And sometimes it's not, you know, that Nani skin wasn't clicking yeah. until we made this, wow, you know. We, and I think everyone yeah. was happy with it, right? Yeah. That uh, Ares Nani, yeah. Yeah, it was. I think it's the best of the trio. You think? Oh, I think well, well, fighting yeah. words. <laughs> so, come on, that Brock, uh, man. Brock, Brock is... Brock is good, but... God then tier. Then <laughs> By the way, I have to shout out, like, Regis. He's basically our main concept yeah. artist for skins. Yeah. And, you know, 90% of the skins are his. You know, we just help him, basically. Yeah, he's really good. And that Brock just encapsulates how, you know... It's like Regis <laughs> at his best. <laughs> <laughs> we saw it, I was like, damn. God like, like Regis. Wow, like, who else could be... Zeus, uh -huh, uh -huh. you know, yeah. in such a cool way in Brawl Stars. Wow, nice. Has to be Brawl. Amazing, one of the best kings that we ever made. Mm -hmm. I, mean. I think, yeah, I think the like the concept still better than w the, uh, the final product. I have to admit because of the mod. <laughs> That and <laughs> I'm. I think we could. But like, the illustration, somehow... I think the the loading screen it sells yeah. like ah, it sells yeah. very well. Yeah. Power yeah. of yeah. The, yeah, <laughs> the the lightnings on the rocket launcher is really mm -hmm. cool. Mm -hmm. um, Sweezy. Since the designs are getting better, are you guys planning redesign? Ah, I guess we kind of touched on that. He's planning redesign all the brawlers. So, yes, as you guys leaked already. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's, Praveen uh, it woke mentioned. up one day and was like, <laughs> we decided, I'm going to do this. You know? yeah. okay, okay. It, it's more like, Fernanda, come here mm. quickly. And then oh, yeah. I go there, look, look at this. <laughs> something about it. Wow. Good, good with impression. <laughs> and then he starts to, to keep the list, like, oh, this one, also this one. Come on. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, I'm really. Cool. Uh, Mara, we will, we will your team ever uh, form an official age list of the brawlers? I think it will be really useful for for what the fun <laughs> artists <Age? laughs> like what? to know their age. Yeah, <laughs> I wonder what for you know. Yeah, <laughs> Wait. to avoid prison. <laughs> is this the police? <laughs> is this the police? <laughs> yeah. 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 Mm. But I think. Uh, but we mentioned. We, we no, mention. you never. It's true. They don't. You never mentioned because they have like proper. But I think mm -hmm. what they need to know is like this is young, this is teenage, this is adult, right? We but don't you know. do actually. Uh, a lot of old people. At you least actually. On, yeah. on my season, a lot yeah. of old. Season. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Sam is thirteen. <laughs> Who? Sam. 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 Oh, Sam. He, just, he, he aged faster. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. No. 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 <laughs> Sam's a kid. Yeah. yeah In yeah, every yeah. concept, you always say like these characters, yeah. this age, or around. Yeah, I always say like late. 20s or yeah. early 40s right so they do have like a canonical age yeah mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. i think like my personal opinion i like how some stuff is hidden so like uh you you know brawler's personality because of their actions or like because of like a small detail on the animation for example when we release mandy and chester mm -hmm. there is like it starts with chester like destroying everything and creating like a, a huge prank but then these uh villains come and they are attacking mandy and then chester saves her mm -hmm. as like so then you see like this only by this like frame you see that that he actually cares mm -hmm. for her and then like uh players pick that uh, community picks that that up and then start creating fun art about it so i think i, I like to just hint mm -hmm. those things because i think you can i wouldn't like to have like a profile yeah of the brawler like showing everything yeah yeah, yeah like characters basically are their actions right mm. this is something that uh, mm -hmm. it's like talked about in uh, script writing and stuff yeah. yeah so you can visually explain those things without actually narrating or yeah. anything yeah like that. of course we if we had a chance in time we would do like a i don't know two hours animation every <laughs> day to tell more and more stories yeah 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 it's more like time limitation and we try to just point it out like most important stuff about their relationships mm -hmm. but by the way, I hope mm. people like this, like, uh, this was a kind of a unique thing that Experiment, we did, right? We, yeah. yeah, we put these two brawlers together uh, in an animation oh, that yeah, are from true. different trios. Yeah. yeah. No, I think they are loving, I think they are loving Doug because cool. he's so chill. Because mm. <laughs> and, and so they're chill. they're saying like, he had a hot dog on his <laughs> back the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> just there, just waiting to be. <laughs> and, um from NGI, uh, how frequent do you guys take inspiration from community? Well, you are Kim, apparently. <laughs> jokes, jokes. <laughs> like every day. Reddit. Yeah. Thinking on Reddit. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, I think like 
inspiration can come from and comes from like all different sources and then within the team inside the team and, and every in, or many of the individuals in the team like like check like community post and everything and spend time there quite a lot so like yeah it's like even hard to say like a direct answer answer there but yeah definitely yeah. like we 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 listen we ha- and 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 even if it's not like a completely like that you could not necessarily say that we would be inspired by some kind of community post for example or concept but it it stays in back of our mind and we can get like even without no knowing it you know influenced by it yeah subconsciously yeah yep. yeah. Yeah. yeah 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 because otherwise i agree with that like basically only subconsciously i guess because yeah, directly never never yeah. and it, it, i even prefer this way like sometimes you have conversations about oh, the community is wanting like a mm-hmm. assassin brawler or this brawler that brawler so we have some idea about the needs mm-hmm, <laughs> mm-hmm. but it's it's it's, om- it's also about the momentum like when mm-hmm. you're having an idea that oh this would be cool with that thing like with that idea then we can make it happen but i prefer to still keep it organically when it makes sense not like briefing you yeah. know we mm. need this and then yeah. work on this yeah But I, i've seen the community like sometimes point out like oh this brawler looks very similar to this yeah. fan art that they did and it's like i can assure you it yeah. never yeah. never happened i'll, like, I'll never check no, <laughs> i don't no, check. No, no, no. <laughs> Damn, like, yeah i'm checking the michael check. jackson video <laughs> like this is yeah, the yeah. kind of stuff that i'm checking yeah. like. it's just some things are kind of a coincidence you know it's okay especially for skins it it's happen. like sometimes you know these characters just basically really warrants uh, i don't know a certain type yeah. of skin yeah, and people will come to the same conclusion yeah, yeah. yeah. and with so active community like there's yeah. tons of posts like both on the like ideas for example for gadgets or star powers or right. yeah. or like any kind of mechanic and and for the skins and stuff there's yeah. just right. so yeah. much of them that it just happens yeah just yeah. be proud of yourselves that you arrived <laughs> to the same conclusion yeah, yeah. No, same result we are on the same page no, but, right. but i think like but it's, that's all it's walking dangerous lines because like now the fun art is almost like they've They they knew we were working with Brandon. They knew we were working with Chirag mm-hmm. uh, for the things. Mm-hmm. So now I think they are trying to like do things we've done before. So like they know that we are using teams. Mm-hmm. So for example, we released the God um, the Godly Kings, mm-hmm. and now there are a lot of like uh, uh, Olympus kind of right. gods. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So um, yeah, like it's very hard to not <laughs> coincide at some point if you're like doing exactly what you're yeah, what yeah, you've yeah. done before right? and, and there there's no way to avoid that because for example now we're gonna have uh, a bunch of like fun arts with yeah. this theme for other brawlers yeah and if you want to touch this theme in the future like uh, if we saw something in the past like it, it's even harder to to have this notion like yeah. i saw this and then it's in the back of my mind or yeah. I'm, i'm using this again or sometimes as you said like it's just a, a perfect match like would be perfect yeah. for that for, of course we are going with this direction like why we should avoid it's almost like how can we stop that there's no way to, yeah. to stop it like You like I, I try like we we I was talking to Ricardo sometimes like I bought some art uh concepts from uh artists from artists when it's like really close mm-hmm. and then we see like mm, there's a potential drama here mm. and then we feel like maybe our word is not enough so like we talk to the artists we like close a de- uh, contract with them we pay for the art mm-hmm. and then but it's really like yeah there was and no it's behind the scenes so like yeah. it's yeah. Mm-hmm. sure yeah. and guys if you saw like how how focused on our slack <laughs> every day and yeah, yeah. checking the concepts that like our yeah. partners are working on like we don't have time <laughs> check other stuff yeah exactly yeah. that's crazy uh we're not running out of ideas guys okay yeah, yeah. trust us <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, that's what actually one question about that so oh, yeah? uh michael uh we will ever uh see kit added to the game mm. <laughs> now you can tell the now i can the, tell this yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> Well, that's that's really funny because my art test, the join brawl, was to make a brawler. And after having this conversation with Paul, when we match like the sense of humor and craziness and everything, I think I kind of kind of digged what kind of what would make a brawler a brawler. And then I did this exploration exploration for a third brawler for the gift shop, and my brawler was a cat. <laughs> <laughs> so we actually have this mm-hmm. cat brawler done like it, it's completely there you i, I it's even approved. <laughs> yeah <laughs> it's approved <laughs> approved <laughs> because you got uh, tired like the pings and everything else i did i, I think i just didn't make a skin but mm-hmm. everything I else did. i did i did a skin. yeah i think 
Mm, I don't remember. I don't remember now. Okay. Yeah, but it, it's really cute. I like it, the the result. And when I presented, I, then I heard after presenting the test that, uh, I don't know if this is true, but Paul wasn't, he didn't <laughs> want to, to make a cat brawler or something like that. Or it's very personal. Want another, right? another cat. I was like, Jesus, I was touching <laughs> something that it's almost like, oh, I hope that she don't draw a cat. And then I <laughs> deliver a cat. No, no, no. no but it's just, just kidding. But no. yeah, the, the, the funny thing is that this brawler is ready, is done. But of course, who knows it, what I'm gonna do? Well, with. it's the trio is full for now, you know. Yeah, yeah. the trio was full. Yeah, but it uh, would be would now be it's cute. Full. Yeah, cute yeah well, to, to balance. It's now a what's how do you say it? A quartet? I don't know. <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> an extra <laughs> pet. Yeah. Yeah. can an be just a pet. <laughs> <laughs> just a pet. Yeah, and then uh, you also uh, for your test you also remodeled penny remodeled yeah, penny, right? Penny, yeah, yeah, that was also on my test. The penny yeah. remodel. And then you eventually. Uh, Made it canon. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Amazing design. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks. Really thanks. Cool. That's really cool. cool. From Leo. Uh, Leo, Leon? Leo. Oh. No, not our Leo. Leo. Ah. Another Leo. <laughs> is, well, maybe. It is, uh, maybe. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> is Mandy a Brazilian girl? It's noted that she has a Brazilian influence on MC <laughs> Mandy. <laughs> it's Oh, it's MC. And, because. Um, and even so has that's like that the Queen Latif or whatever. Yeah. Like, is it? No, no MC Elliot. M MC, MC Elliot. Yeah, it was Missy, Missy Elliot. Mm. Elliot. Missy Elliot, that's Miss, it. Missy Elliot. Elliot, yeah. Uh, no, she's not. <laughs> <laughs> this is the same <laughs> thing. It's the same theory. It's a self-portrait. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Mainly is Even me. the community knows. <laughs> no, 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 it doesn't have a... a it's, it's not Brazilian. But yeah, I was... In fact, the, the first sketch of, of this skin was like a wu tang. Mm, yeah. Glenn skiing sure. that we we changed the no we didn't change it's just the logo <laughs> it's yeah, just the logo. we changed a bit we, we took tweak the logo because we don't want a yeah yeah a we are not doing a partnership <laughs> here so and we will get more diverse brawlers like uh, body ethnicity disability and they he then this person said Buster Fang and Maisie were a step forward in that direction mm. well yes, actually my, this my being favorite sneak peek this is another sneak peek, sneak peek yeah. I guess. Yeah, <laughs> maybe it's a strong maybe <laughs> in the future. Yeah, strong maybe. Yeah, strong maybe. Uh, Sonico, how do you decide? Sonico, in... like shout out. <laughs> Sonic. Shout out to Sonic. 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 Yeah, Sonic. Sonic. How do you decide which brother to do a Supercell make uh, campaign instead of designing the skin the game team? I'll tell you the truth. <laughs> it's me and Ricardo. <laughs> it's like, we cannot find a good idea for this brawler. Please let the community help us. No, uh, well, sometimes. Kind of, yeah. It's a mix of that. And yeah. Yeah. It's mostly actually you. Like you. No, I nice push it. See. Yeah, I push it's it. Because, it, yeah. because that's the thing. They're already so vocal, uh, producing stuff like yeah, in, yeah. in creating stuff that mm -hmm. it makes totally sense to have those. For sure. Yeah. For sure. It's like uh, some brawlers really need a skin, and we check those. Yeah. And then then he suggests a theme. Yeah. Or yeah. and suggests like a couple of brawlers. Some we even did like a voting thing, right? One. Yeah. That was really cool. Yeah. I think we could do that. Yeah. yeah maybe. More. Yeah. Yeah, uh, we could do more often yeah, for sure. Voting thing. Yeah. yeah. So I think for uh, just to set the um, what the players can expect. Now we only after Fang we only have another one, and then for this year I think that's it. Because I don't think we have the time to implement the next one, or, or I don't know. I guess not. Yeah. Yeah, but I don't want to do a Brawly Days uh, <laughs> campaign. It's so lame. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> unless, unless we do like uh, something. We can have the mini theme. Yeah, the evil Brawly Days, right? Or yeah. I'm uh, not sure we're gonna do that. Yeah. yeah. No. Mm -hmm. Who Let's knows see. how's gonna be this yeah. right. this Christmas? We have some ideas. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Uh, Papillon. To Fernanda, when designing new brawlers, what do you go for? Do you try to imitate Paul's art style way of thinking <laughs> the best as you can, or do you just go for what you feel inside you? Do you feel something inside you? <laughs> She's hollow. I She's just, hollow. I was just like well, Spike. I, <laughs> uh, I always go for something that makes me laugh. It's mm. the same. It's, it's, even like this thing about trying to go for like something closer to to Paul style like i think that the the cool thing uh that happened in my during my interview when i joined here it was that me and paul we had the same base references like the old cartoon stuff like the even the vintage anime style because i i i think he's not a 
big fan also. <laughs> but uh, like the sense of humor, like the the weird, creepy cartoons, like the dark jokes sometimes. <laughs> like so, we matched in a level that I think it's more important to keep like the core idea or brawl of of what is a brawler alive. So it's it's okay. You have to understand the the design, the language itself is is the base. But if you understand what makes a brawler a brawler, then you're kind of ready mm. to do that. So I really trust my, <laughs> I don't know my art skills, but my sense of humor. I really like when I'm having fun with something and when I present like the concepts for somebody and this person also thinks that interesting. It's like this tickling in your brain. Uh, I believe in that. That's my green flag to to feel that one idea is strong. So I try to just have fun. I think if it's I'm having fun, the whole thing is having fun during what we believe that is the best, uh, the results being something fun for the community, it's just like, a, it's it's kind of natural. So I try to go for that. I think it comes from a, from inside, maybe. <laughs> This black heart. Uh, black dark heart. On you. Are you tired or running out of ideas? I guess it's for everyone here. <laughs> Already assuming. Yeah. Are you tired no, wait, of wait. running out? <laughs> wait, there is a, a, a advice then. Like I love uh, I love relaxing by reading a book, drinking water for better health, and eating food used for energy. Every idea glows in my mind a lot. I think it's just like worry about our mental mm. health. Ah, mental <laughs> health. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> But I think like there is a lot in the. <laughs> <laughs> starts to less crying nervously <laughs> <laughs> what do you do for your mental health joking i think those were really good good advice yeah. i yeah. think in finland here we have a wonderful nature and, and walk outside in the nature is is usually like way great yeah, way to clear a mind minus 20 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> did you watch the latest right now spider verse 20. movie <laughs> no i have not okay, seen it because yeah, we checked it yesterday i was gonna say that he he uh, maybe has the same thing as the you know uh, peter parker like the older yeah. guy was like hold my baby oh my baby oh my baby it's it's how does he say it's like res uh, you're gonna feel rejuvenating so. yeah. it's yeah. rejuvenating <laughs> rolled my baby yeah like. <laughs> hi but yeah that said like i don't think we are uh, running anytime soon out of ideas we have like some kind of we don't they're really they're bothered to keep like bag a look of all the yeah. ideas because there's uh, so many coming from an, every window and but you do have like a, uh, right? yeah, yeah like yeah, yeah there's backlog. like 35 i think Ooh. currently like 35 let's say the idea is not a problem <laughs> yeah uh, we're tired <laughs> but we still have ideas <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we're still here okay we're yeah. still alive <laughs> yeah um uh, sandia um How far in advance are official arts concepts and models normally made before releasing them? Yeah, that's what that's what I mentioned. Like uh, now getting. we're a bit yeah. we're getting ahead. Like mm -hmm. we're working on stuff for like like two plates ahead, I think. Yeah. yeah. So like four months. But this was this is a recent you know uh, <laughs> achievement. Mm -hmm. like, it, mm -hmm. it wasn't wait, always wait, the case. I have a. Everyone is yeah. Congratulations to everyone. Like yeah, huge man. team effort. And then from the same person, a bit of, out of topic, how do you cast the uh, voice actors to fit the brawler's personality? <laughs> <laughs> it's just like you throw a dice. Yeah, throw a dice, yeah. <laughs> so it's, uh, it's kind of the same process when I'm having, when I'm pitching one idea to Joaquin, what I do with Martin. But I usually write some backstory, like how this brawler behaved, blah, blah, blah. I always put some references from other characters or actors about their acting or about sense of humor, about like something that I think would be interesting to have. Mm. Sometimes even like, oh, I really like this voice here, like this type. Mm -hmm. I think it would be nice to find somebody close to this. And I got super lucky with Martin since day one because we just clicked. Also, yeah. we have same... same sense of humor <laughs> he's same crazy. references yeah. he's completely crazy so he always gets what i'm trying to do and he's always also concerned about some details like for example when we did lola and he we we made sure to be like a, a latin person uh, like doing yeah, the speaking voice English, and yeah. speaking and like this kind of details i think it's are also important So it's it's usually like this back and forth work, but it, with Martin it's super easy. It's just like I, I brief crazy ideas and then got it, and it goes like three days here, 
voice actors. And then I, I usually check by myself, but sometimes mm -hmm. when I'm, I'm a bit of a doubt, I yeah. share with people. Like with Hank, we mm -hmm. did this with Ricardo and, and Leo, and it was really fun. Like we, we are in sync about the best direction. Yeah. So. Cool. Then there is one about the teams. How do you define those? Or like how do you, yes. how do you decide which one is the next team to create? I think it usually starts with the brawlers, right? Like the mm. chromatic yeah. brawler usually defines the theme. Mm -hmm. And so it all starts with Fernanda's ideas. And then we try to find like a, a good match, you know, like a thematic match. Yeah, it's like this puzzle of ideas because we have the main, bra we have a brawler that has a, like a concept, like is this part, part of a all her stuff or candies or whatever and sometimes we have the environment not being part like the environment of this brawler so we have to find a reason to have this brawler there and there's the second brawler that is it's not related to any of that so we have to kind of mix like in in in, in this case we have a brawler from the same environment so it's a bit easier mm -hmm. yeah this is a, one of the easier mm -hmm. cases yeah. i guess yeah, yeah but with biodome we were mixing yeah. brawlers so it's uh, the story will be just can be a bit crazier because yeah. of that but it, i usually try to plan like for a year the uh, areas that i would like to explore brawlers but sometimes we have to switch because it, this is a very organic process like even if i plan okay every update we're gonna have those brawlers e I, I depend on what kind of idea i'm gonna have in september and then i have mm -hmm. one brawler that it's like a, i don't know i almost say too much <laughs> i have a brawler there is a cactus and then mm -hmm. we already have uh, I was planning to do something for Biodome in December. And mm -hmm. then, but this cactus is perfect for Halloween. So mm -hmm. then I have to change the other theme because of those coincidences. Mm -hmm. And even planning mechanics, like we did, we were trying to aim for some type, type of mechanics. And at the end of the meeting, I was with Frank and Adrian. It's like, okay, we, we decided. And then when they start to sketch the ideas, <laughs> no, it's not going to be a melee anymore. <laughs> it's, it's like, it's you depend on the process. Yeah, you have yeah. to see. Uh, I, I feel that people hate this answer, but when we are in those meetings and they say, yeah, what's going to be the next team? And depends on the brawler. And everybody looks at me and I'm like, I don't know. It's in my head still. So, right. Right. <laughs> Yeah, but it is a fun process, I think. Like we, sometimes it's not obvious at all. Like, for example, RT, you know, mm. because it's this hub area, it wasn't immediately clear what we would do for skins, for example, like this for the main theme, you know. Uh, because we were like, okay, we could do what we did for uh, the gift uh, shop update, where there's like these, you know, like fans and stuff that like come to the park, swag, yeah. swag and. But uh, we ended up with the spy theme, you know, so yeah. because we focused on this particular aspect of RT of yeah, the character, the mystery, yeah, the yeah, mystery yeah, yeah. part. Spy. So it works like that. Or sometimes we're revisiting a theme. For example, we're introducing a brawler, like Sam, you know, which is part of Bell's trio. So we've already done we've already done a main theme that that was meant to accommodate Bell, and then we introduce Sam. We need to revisit this trio, this I mean this theme, but we want to spice it up, right? So we need to always like come up with a new thing, uh, like a new uh, inspiration or just a new twist mm -hmm. that kind of uh, spices things up. Yeah. So yeah, that's part of the challenge, mm. but it's very organic. Like we just talk with the team, you know, and uh, particularly like Fernand and I. That's that's mostly. Yeah. We usually drive those together. From Reddit noob, <laughs> uh, <laughs> are you guys? Uh, I guess it's like the same with like the remodel from Brawlers, but like so for animations, because he's saying that the rec the recent ones have a lot more personality, and if we plan to go back in the animations of each brawler. <laughs> <laughs> Just by thinking of the work, I don't know. You're already thinking, yeah. maybe we should ask Leo. Yeah. This is the <laughs> oh, you're talking about like the win animation? Yeah, win and, and like, losing uh, animation. Uh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm. Mm. Yeah, I, mm. I remember once Felix was in an uh, interview with Lex as well, and he said like, yeah, because Spike just like do this, mm. which is kind of characteristic of mm -hmm. him, but like he, he, he felt like mm. Spike is our, our ma mascot, right? So mm -hmm. maybe he deserves a bit... Right. Love maybe that. maybe we need to, you know, uh, get Leo and Praveen in a room. <laughs> Praveen is already <laughs> like... Uh, yeah, just put know. them together. And yeah, just yeah. You know, work it out. <laughs> yeah, make it, make it work. It. Yeah, For sure. I think that would be cool. It's true mm -hmm. that some animations are a bit... Uh, yeah. Yeah, like, yeah. yeah, just compared with... Uh, they're iconic. Like, I remember, for example, Crow. Uh, I yeah. remember 
Yeah, like Felix wanted to keep that because uh -huh. before it was just that. Uh -huh. And now it's like badass and cool, but he retained that yeah. iconic yeah. Uh, pose at the end. So he could do something like that. True. And speaking, no, no, I guess not speaking of Crow, but like uh, we could be speaking of Crow. Uh, <laughs> Doda Ma Majiger said, uh, what, what is like um, a brawler or skiing that you are most proud of? Maybe one of each. A brawler. You want to start? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah jokes. Uh, <laughs> I think like, yeah, mm -hmm. Probab probably like Sam, that mm. I think he was like one of the, the first one where I kind of felt like I did take a bigger risk mm. uh, and, and it felt like it paid out in that sense. Like uh, after like working on a couple of brawlers before, that was like kind of the, the time to do, try to do something a bit more complex. Um, and then and exactly it was, I think, one of the first melee brawlers too I worked on. So yeah, that. And, and Chester has a special place <laughs> in my heart. Ah, he's amazing. <laughs> Chester is cool, but doesn't everyone just cycle the abilities until you get the explosion? <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, that's what I do. <laughs> <laughs> just, I always equip the gadget that allows you to cycle. You yeah, know? When, when the stun was really powerful, then the stun, stun is okay, the, but yeah. the explosion <laughs> isn't, you know, one hit, one kill thing almost, so. Yeah. Mm. yeah. How about you? Uh, I think it's Bonnie. Bonnie, mm. it's my favorite. Mm. And uh, uh, when I was thinking about the explosive stuff, I was also with some tank girl. Have references mm. in my mind that I ended up not using it, but just the helmet. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think she's my favorite. Yeah, Bonnie's um, really adorable. Bonnie's great, and the voice actress is amazing. Yeah, like that's a proper. Really you know, like. uh, is is she a kid? Because. Mm -hmm. Oh damn! Mm -hmm. She really I'm can make a key really voice. Good, really good, really incredible. Because that's really hard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think. Like we were just listening to Le Leon. <laughs> Leon's like 35 years old. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like whoa, Leon's. <laughs> we <laughs> we like him, you know. Don't get yeah. us wrong. It's just it's just doesn't come across as a kid. I yeah. guess is, our, is my point. Yeah. Uh, but I'd like to hear your favorite skins as well. You know, like. Mm, let me if you have any. Oh, Lola. Lawless Lola. Oh, because she drew it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> oh, what is her favorite skin? It's going to be some. No, I well, really it's love it. He's most proud of. So. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. But that's, yeah. what, I that's I, not I what I ask. That's not what I ask. I should be proud of my work. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> okay, so Lawless from Lola. like 300 skins, <laughs> you pick the, the, like the. Lawless Lola. All right, my, all right. My fair best. enough. Fair enough. Um, Go. Favorite brawler. And uh, favorite brawler is called always be cold mm. um but from the ones you designed um sam possibly sam and i also love bonnie of course oh my i have to mention my favorite <laughs> one from paul mm. to ash and i know grief. grief yeah yeah i love grief, wow. ash, grief because it's a trash can so <laughs> and ash <laughs> ash is also amazing mm. i think it's those are my favorite too. Mm -hmm. ash is fun and Skin? How about uh, Crow? Because you remodel Crow and you also remodel yeah, yeah. Phoenix, right? Crow is like, I'm really proud of the model. It was mo not because I'm happy with my work. I'm never happy with my work. <laughs> Just more <laughs> That's like. That's Make it clear. <laughs> yeah. It was more like I made it and Phil, which was the yeah. artist who I was replacing, he moved on to another project when I joined. He was. He approved it. So I was oh, like, okay, so like, okay. I'm, you know, I'm ready. I'm good. Because <laughs> dude, I was terrified. Like, it was really uh, challenging to yeah. do. Mm. Although like the models are really simple, but yeah. uh, you know when you're you join Supercell, it's because you don't want to to change it that much, so it has to say, has yeah. to be the same. Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah, oh yes, yeah, the expectations as yeah. well. Mm. But also because like Phil is very like uh, how do you call it? Um, <laughs> 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 he wants he wants he has a night <laughs> for detail, so he uh, was really like checking everything, uh, yeah. like the wireframe and stuff. So I was really like, <laughs> no, but I think it's amazing. Like Lex mm. can vouch for that. He, he loves both uh, the model and the... Oh, that, that video, Lex <laughs> video, where he reacts to Crow and, and White Crow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'll, I'll never forget. <laughs> <laughs> I loved his reaction. Shout like, out to Lex. Shout out, shout to, out to Lex. Yeah. We actually invited, but he couldn't. Uh, really sad. Um, yeah. Uh, he'll be in another one, though. Um, we are almost done. Don't worry, my <laughs> fellow companions. Uh, why is... Uh, this is from uh, Havish. Uh, why is Spike the face of Star Park? <laughs> Spike's not the face, it's the star. Well, it's kind of... <laughs> it's a star. <laughs> it's kind of similar. Isn't it gold? I would say it's gold. No, I think the logo, the Star Park logo. Logo, the happy face, happy oh, yellow it's face. It's, it's not, not. It's not. It's not. Yeah. 
It's a happy the the happy face on the star. It's a character. It's mm. yeah. Kind of I think thing. this person means that just he just assumed that it's kind of uh, like the mascot. The mascot, I guess. Uh, yeah. But I would say it's Colt. Colt. Colt is the Colt. mascot. Not the mascot, kind of like the face of yeah. of Star Park. I yeah, I think it's because we. Well, I keep adding Spike in every illustration we do. So <laughs> <laughs> Spike is very iconic, right? Like yeah. very simple. Yeah. So it works well as a mascot as well. Because I like the mystery. Like, he's almost like a cycle that's like always there, and then you don't know what he's gonna do, right? Yeah. He's just like looking at you, and then is it, this? <laughs> I think has some some pillars on on broad and spike, like it's yeah. cute, but there's some darkness there. <laughs> yeah. Like, is this friendly? <laughs> you know, <laughs> there's some question marks yeah. that you can <laughs> use in the game as well. Um. Dun dun dun. I can skip that one. From Synced, how do you balance a new brawler with unique mechanics? What determines exactly health, damage, range, reload, blah, 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 uh, together with the mechanic? So, like, how how do you balance that? Yeah, I guess that would be, a like, a, <clears throat> a better question for Adrian. Uh, <laughs> he's responsible of... <laughs> and forward. Of the, yeah. Mm. He does most of the balancing work. and but, but, I mean, most of it still comes, like, initially, like, after the first play tests feel like when we play together it's quite obvious like then there if the, it's feels like underwhelming it's not powerful yeah. enough or if he feels like totally op so it's just through that kind of iteration of course the kind of the first initial numbers uh we put in like usually we have like take some kind of reference or have an idea but that's just like the first is always like a guess yeah. and you need to just play it and then feel it feel it uh, uh, out and I think quite often for me, when I, I do, for example, the first prototypes for brawlers and uh, I usually test them then and play against bots, right? When I play like on my development computer and, and test them out the first time. And that's really different than playing against real players. So, yeah. so usually yeah. the guess is like completely wrong. But then when we actually play, we like realize like, yeah, we need to change them. And even so, like even if we test, you know, in our internal tests, we're all sometimes we're surprised with how actually like much stronger the character is or yeah, yeah. weaker mm -hmm. actually, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. yeah. When it gets out into the wild. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because I guess no no automation or test will be like a million players yeah. playing this. In That's a real test. Yeah. <laughs> real play test. Yeah. <laughs> so then the like data and analytics and and feedback back from the community is definitely mm. like. Instrumental. Yeah, yeah, instrumental for that. Yeah. From the Hawk twenty seven. That's I think it's a really cool question. Like what brawler, if any, was a big letdown in terms of like we thought it's gonna be like a super popular brawler and then it didn't uh mm. work out. Mm. I think it's usually tied to the um, power of the brawler. Yeah. Cause like when I have one actually like yeah. Like Colette. Yeah, I was gonna mention Colette. Like the rea remember the reaction to her. She's was insane. I mean, she's like she's design is yeah. Yeah. yeah design no, is amazing. so cool. Personality. She has everything. Yeah. But, but then, then she was so weak. She was really weak on release, <laughs> and yeah. all the YouTubers were like, yeah. you know, she's trash. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I remember the thumbnails. Mm -hmm. And that that really. <laughs> yeah. And it, she was like really. She's still kind of mechanically challenging, I guess. Yeah. So there's something to it. Because her damage is like a percentage of yeah. the opponent mm -hmm. uh health she wasn't like self-sufficient at first right yeah now she's a mm -hmm. bit better in the pro scene she's picked like as a counter for because tanks of team or, play yeah, yeah. Mm, of course but yeah poor colette such a good mm -hmm. design <laughs> i think for for me it's more the surprise about because we have like the main brawler mm -hmm. and the second brawler usually in, in the seasons it's it's funny because like for gus gus and buster mm -hmm. like gus ah, completely yeah. stole yeah, yeah. The yeah. show and everybody was just talking I think about. Came out at the same time as Sam, right? Not. Yeah, Buster yeah. Buster came afterwards. Mm. It's just I because they were in the same animation. Ah, mm. uh, yeah, 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 but yeah, we're mixing it. Jesus yeah. and mine. <laughs> but it's true that Gus, I think, stole the show. Uh, uh, yeah, versus Sam. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was a bit yeah interesting. I was also like kind of expecting Willow to really take off. You know? Yeah. Yeah, I think I was expecting. But more. I think she's not super popular. I think it's the gameplay because she's so right. she's tricky complex. Yeah. 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 How about? Hank, did you expect? <laughs> well, yeah. but he was releasing mega broken. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I think the the overall like feedback was uh, yeah yeah mm. they like uh, uh, the shrink. The hype was <laughs> before. 
talking about like expected versus unexpected things like i was mind blown with how horny the community was <laughs> with grom <laughs> bro, oh bro, yeah right? no wow well, what with grom <laughs> this was like so weird completely weird yeah because like it's just like a weird yeah. guy yeah the like teacher. the amount of yeah. spicy fun arts that we yeah. saw i think people like a broken guy you know <laughs> broken guy. <laughs> yeah it's the same with stew you wow. know it's kind of damaged goods true 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 <laughs> Wow, right. yeah, yeah. Um, but, but I think we love to see that. Yeah, really one that had a plot twist. I think Buster, when he released, people were like complaining about ah, the design is not there, blah, blah. Mm. But I think it took time for people to understand Buster. Or yeah. once they got the personality and the relationship with Fang, now Buster mm -hmm. is loved. And I think, yeah, like when we announced in Brawl Talk, we got like, a lot of hate. But when we start like uh, announcing more, like mo doing more Community illustrations. illustrations yeah, we did like yeah. the poster where mm -hmm. he's like being all the roles of mm -hmm. his own movie. <laughs> and then the community like starts getting yeah. like, into Embracing it. Him. Understand. Yeah. It's yeah. about understand the yeah. character. Like, yeah. Right. They, they are always planned to be like in this trio. Um, um, like the, the, the way that they are created is based on the trio. So they don't exist by themselves. Mm. So it's and always one complement. And you always like develop these really nice uh, dynamics between the characters and these stories that are really hard to yeah. convey. Yeah. And we just don't have the time, you know. It's yeah. really like a lack of time. We're spread too thin at this, you know. Yeah. So it's nice. Like community illustrations, of course, like really. Yeah. I was really, really happy with the comics when we could explore oh, yeah. a bit more of that. Mm -hmm. And is there a... S one that was like the opposite is like actually from the same guy so like uh something that we thought like uh maybe that's not gonna land and then it's one of the most beloved brawlers mm. i guess hank now like uh, hank. it's kind of funny yeah, yeah i think so. yeah, I wasn't. <laughs> yeah i think so like at least in the play tests internally and overall like i think the feel was like that well yeah he's he's definitely like mm. has he's powerful and we did think that but not like on the scale right like when he was right. released so and Meg, Meg, but it, this is the other point. Meg, yeah. I'm still surprised that she's not. And she's a mecha driver. What the heck? But yeah, it's, I think awesome. it's, I think it's gameplay. Because <laughs> before, cool before it was too punishing. Mm, true. Mm. Like now it's better. Right? Yeah, yeah. You start like super weak, and like if you if you don't have the skills, then you are just <laughs> weak forever. <laughs> mm -hmm. but, uh, yeah, but I think the design is really cool, and I think like the trio Max Max trio, it's super cool. Yeah. I think Nani maybe it's to me it's kind of funny that. She, she oh, yeah, has such a yeah. big support. Yeah, yeah. There's this, she has like the most dedicated <laughs> fans yeah, yeah. of all time. It's insane. It's a little silly robot, right? Like, <laughs> like but like, everyone's like ah, scrap nah, robot. Really yeah, cool. but okay. You know? Do you have like their own. one from me? Like, do you have a favorite trio? Mm. Maybe the uh, favorite trio and the most despised. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> really? I know yours. Despised trio. You know. Yes. No, I, I don't. <laughs> I think. Please tell me. I think I it's uh, Piper, uh, Byron, and yeah, Barley. and Barley. Why? Because it's no, hard to. Uh, yeah, it's it's more uh, when we were like discussing like the dynamics yeah. between the characters. It, it but it's not bad. Yeah. Is it was just a bit more hard. It's complicated. It's complicated. <laughs> because for example, Tara, uh, Sandy, and Jean. Jean, it was hard in the beginning but then we came up with something really cool to mm -hmm. make the, the the story of the trio work mm -hmm. together sneak, sneak peeks. <laughs> yeah yeah but happening in the background mm -hmm. yeah but the characters alone i really liked it but bar uh, barley would be my favorite <laughs> piper is yours <laughs> but my favorite trio like two trios to me the classic trio colt and shelly yeah and would be mm -hmm. yeah and I think uh, the second, I really like um, the Turbo Theater. Mm. But to me, I think uh, the stunt show with yeah. the girls and Stu, like the, mm. to me was very, very nice to see how the community react to the brawlers and to kind of highlight Stu even more, like not just bring the girls and mm -hmm. it, it doesn't felt like, uh, weird how the family <laughs> works together yeah. to me. I was very happy to see, hey, this kind of works. Like, it's almost planned And it, it's so nice that, like, uh, I, it's almost like, uh, I don't know, if you do, like, an um, analogy to, like, society, the, how they embrace this kind of broken family, right? Because yeah. it's adopted, adoptive mm -hmm. father without, like, a mother or anything. Mm -hmm. And nobody asks, like, 
why is, why, yeah. why the father of those the kids are like a, a robot yeah like, it's really cool yeah very wholesome it, yeah. yeah i love the reaction yeah. of the community as well to yeah. that yeah yeah from fernandez i think my favorite trio is uh, probably bell and the um, ah, yeah. the sam mm -hmm. uh, i really like that kind of They, yeah well those, i guess sam is uh, fernandez and, and bell is pauls yeah. uh, and i really love the gift shop trio Ah, uh, well, the community also loves them. They're amazing. They're amazing. Yeah. And have you seen the parody with Bob, SpongeBob? Of <laughs> yeah. Because like it fits so well. <laughs> too well. Yeah, so Colette being mm -hmm. crazy like SpongeBob. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. How about your jockey? Yeah, I think it's probably the stunt show. Like trio, it just fits so well, but it's it's I think hard to pick, especially because not all, all the trios are complete yet. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And and there might be a trio that I'm thinking that might be my favorite, <laughs> but I just want to mention if wow. they get because completed? it's not yet ah, ah. favorite. <laughs> Wait, but when it's complete, interesting. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There's yeah. many great trios. Uh, it's so hard to pick a favorite, but mm. yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, I think like one thing that I would uh, I like to see in the trios, like besides of course this kind of uh, that the trios are comp like work together in the story side and, and on the team, but also like that there would be something that on the gameplay kind of would connect them and uh, that they would yeah, work yeah. really well together. Mm -hmm. That's something that we have been trying to mm -hmm. like combo a bit more. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like, of course, it, the meta changes everything that, that yeah. depends on the map and everything and it will not always be, but at least they would be like viable yeah. to play Maybe a uh, as the trio. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Cool. I guess that was the, like, the last question. Last question. Yeah. So thank you everyone for your time. Thank you <laughs> for the crew for watching us for two hours and a half yeah. <laughs> behind <laughs> the cameras. And um, yeah, you you want to say like something for the players that are watching you? Mm -hmm. Maybe something for the Brazilians. Brazilian. Yeah. yeah. Fernanda, Fernanda has a huge Brazilian uh, <laughs> fan base. It's true. Yeah. Man, it's really. I was. Uh, <laughs> Not even me have that uh, big of a. <laughs> I really love the memes when I show up in that uh, special that you made. Yeah. Uh, I really love the memes. I was mm. laughing my ass off. <laughs> like Brazilian community is just perfect. We get our humor, <laughs> you know. We we get our weird stuff. Yeah. I really like. Thanks, guys, for the support. It's really, really important. And I don't know, it's just like uh, for the community, just the putting some stuff out. I'm, I'm not a very, like, I don't know, oh, no. social media user person yeah, yeah. of social media. So it's hard to post yeah. stuff, but I will make some effort to, I don't know, show off a bit more often. You've but done, in like in these two hours, you've done more than many other people uh, in the industry. <laughs> two hours talking. Yeah. Long, right? <laughs> yeah. Maybe people is like, yeah, yeah. enough of her. Yeah, we don't need only anymore. Next year, yeah. <laughs> it's like, yeah, yeah. But the t I think it's thank you for all the support, not only the Brazilian community, but the whole community of Brawl. It's amazing to be part of this, like, great family the book. <laughs> <laughs> no but it's amazing to be part of a game community that it's so uh, heavily inspired by art by those characters like it's not just only about the game yeah. but the brow universe uh, to me it's like a huge honor to be this ip holder right now because i uh, i say this everybody brow was the first mobile game that i saw and i actually see oh finally somebody <laughs> did something you know <laughs> Uh, it was love at first sight with Brawl, and uh, I would never imagine that one day I would be here today, like creating those characters, keeping this amazing work that Poe started. So to me, it's like a huge honor. Like one of the reasons of the stunt show being also my favorite trio is that to me, whenever I feel that I can do this late collaboration yeah, with yeah, Poe, yeah, yeah. it feels amazing I because agree. it's like, okay, like we making yeah. my best a to achieve. Meaning. Yeah this is standard so it's really really special and if everybody if anybody has something against my designs catch me in person here <laughs> because i don't discuss on twitter and yeah i think that's it on, on my end shout out to amazing bro team and our team that it's it's only because of those guys that we can deliver those updates it's insane it's crazy but the magic always happens every update and it's a, a huge thank you <laughs> huge thank you amen how amen how about you <laughs> uh, just uh, I, I would say like thank you for being so wholesome and understanding for the community actually like um, 
yeah uh, it, it's really like i mean it yeah this community i think like it's the best i've worked with but i think it's i would say it's the best in the gaming industry because mm -hmm. like of course like we kind of build trust and like mm -hmm. this is basically like a dev and community relationship but i think the fact that they understand some things when we can we have the freedom to be honest and transparent with them with bad news or like when we release a, a new update and there's plenty of bugs they're like okay we know they are gonna fix it like it's not like they're being angry on social media or anything mm -hmm. like uh, it's really yeah. really nice and we got really cool things cooking so you know please look forward to that mm -hmm. good yeah. stuff yeah we are listening yeah. about yeah. lord and everything mm -hmm. we're just preparing stuff like carefully yeah but we're yeah. cooking just wait how about you okay mm -hmm. I guess like huge, huge thanks to the community and as mentioned already, I think like bro communities, it's what makes it special. Like, and it's yeah. really humbling to work on a, on a project like this and, and, and like just seeing the passion and, and that's kind of, that that's basically like, actually the interesting thing is that I know for me and for many other people in our team, actually like the bro talks mm. are actually also like one, this kind of big moment and then like highlight. Yeah for us and uh, to see them and seeing the community getting excited about all that that's like that's the best reward mm -hmm. for for the work we do here and, and thank you for that cool i'll press all the buttons here to create like <laughs> does it work like, uh. <laughs> all right thank you everyone bye bye thank you bye. Bye. Bye.